Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in, the last case of Benadryl Gobblefox. Now this was developed by Plot Twist, published by Rogue Games and is usually available for £20.99 slash $24.99 but from day one has been included with Xbox Game Pass so get, get, get that boy. So we play as Benedict Fox, no relation to Benedict Cucumber Patch, who is an awesome detective bound to a demon who sounds an awful lot like Venom, you'd think. Shh, you want to get sued? Uh, that was an attempt at Willy from The Simpsons there. Terrible. Uh, we have to uncover a mystery in some mansion where a child is missing and the couple, well, they appear sort of, well, they dead now, you hear? Brilliant looking game and very enjoyable. Uh, as for achievements, quite straightforward enough. Story-related ones, as usual. We need to gather a lot of collectibles, which I will timestamp. We need to upgrade our weapons and ourselves. Few miscellaneous ones tied to our powers, but there is very one very important one. We cannot, under any circumstance, skip a cutscene. If you want the achievement at the end, make sure you never skip a cutscene by holding the B button. Just don't do it, son. No. But that about covers everything, so following the guide, you can get this done in around five hours so what we're going to do is choose the bottom option there uh customize so you've got a couple of options here you can obviously do challenging if you want a bit of a challenge default where it's just normal or you can go relaxing plus at the bottom there we are going to choose the option for immortality or on the right hand side you can choose where enemies kill benedict in one hit now Obviously, just to make this as sort of smooth and as easy as possible, we're going to go for relaxing difficulty. We are going to put immortality on. And we're also going to put the I hate feeling lost. We're basically just going to make this sort of as easy as we can. There's a lot of stress going on in the world right now. And the last thing you need is your hair falling out um, because, you know, you stink. Uh, because you don't want to get stressed out with an extra game. We're also going to choose not interested in solving puzzles. Now, what that basically means is... Now, by the way, do not skip any cutscene, as I've already said. So, from now, there's going to be a whole load of cutscenes. Just never, ever hold the B button. If you press the A button, you can see uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll say uh, B, skip. Obviously, you're just never going to press the B button. Very important not to skip any cutscenes to get the achievement at the end. Um, but with the not solving puzzles, now, um, obviously we're going for one hit kills, we're going for immortality, but I will show the majority of puzzles. Um, still, I, I think uh, people do enjoy the puzzles, so I will uh, not just skip the puzzles. Basically, uh, the option that I chose was any puzzle that you come up to, you can just press left on the D-pad to auto-skip it. But again, I will be showing you the majority of the puzzles. So, grande. Let's, uh, well, let's enjoy the cutscenes for a minute, huh? There he is, old Benadryl Flobblebox. This is what I've been looking for. He who seeks does not err. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial of how to fight. Now, of course, if you were doing this legit, the game would take you a little bit longer, but you're going to press the right bumper to parry, the X button to attack once, and then what you can do is hold the X button to perform a heavy attack. Ah! Uh, that will also do your... Uh, you can press the right stick to dodge, the left bumper to aim your gun, and then press the X button to shoot. Uh, left stick there to obviously move up and down as well. Uh, so that's all we need to know. Of course, if we are play, if you are following along with me and playing on uh, immortality mode and one hit kills, you pretty much don't need the majority of what you just seen because obviously we're just gonna go up and smash stuff up. Uh, if you do <laughs> die, <laughs> like I just done, you just fall. You just start literally where you were. So that's all good. Uh, so for now, we're just going to um, yeah, just keep on running to the right. 
Obviously, we would have some miracle water, which means if you hold up on the D-pad, that would get you glob glob. All good. Uh, so just go for the jump in all the way to the right. You can't get hit by the gunfire or anything because we are immortal. Now, any time, as you can see, that you see that little sort of blue ball of light, that means that you can uh, double jump onto things. And there we go. That's the tutorial over. Straight now into the old Nittus and the Grittus. My father lives. Do you have anything for me? Not at the moment. I need to ask you to do me another favor. Can you get me another amplificator? I damaged this one while trying to escape. Uh, I'll see what I can do. 29 Kimberly Way. Boston, meet me there. Hello? Anyone here? Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. Oh, there he is. Look, old Venom. No here. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you haven't skipped any cutscenes and we'll continue not to skip any cutscenes. Anyway, head to the left first of all. We're going to turn the radio on. There we go, and the way we do that then is literally just put the uh, knob, the left knob, up a little bit until you can hear the faint music, and then turn the right one until you hear the music again. Um, now, it'll always have the directions of what to do in the bottom left-hand corner, how to change knobs, and how to do knob stuff. Uh, interact here with this torn page as well, which is just by the chair. Again, we've got a lot of collectibles to grab. Um, and a lot of items as well for upgrades, so... Well, if you're playing this, welcome to the long haul, baby. So that is the... It'll actually be our first achievement as well, as we head back into the left room. Uh, now, as you can see there, we've got the draw, we've got the auto-solve draw as well. So, if you want to, you could just auto-solve it now and just grab everything. But, um, if you want to play along and at least do the puzzles, at least have some form of challenge, then by all means do that. So interact with the wallet here on the left, and then what you're going to do is rotate the item with the left stick, and we are going to press the X button here. Hold the X button, as it were, to grab this key with a symbol, which we will take with the A button. Now, also in the top right-hand corner, you can see two... Um uh, we can't get out of the door, sorry, on the left-hand side. But you can see two, like, symbols. The uh, sort of diamond-looking one is uh, basically a currency, and the one next to that is ink. Now, you get more ink um, by sort of doing the more puzzles. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all you can get it from anyway, is just by doing puzzles, which will be enough to get us upgrading as we head upstairs and then interact with the sleepers here. The old baby jam jams. Um, but yes, so we will eventually through the game by killing more enemies, a lot of enemies and um doing puzzles we will get enough to upgrade absolutely everything so for now head into the um in fact no we're all good we're just heading straight down the stairs once again uh think now <laughs> i do think that's everything covered here <laughs> and now we can head to the right and if you press left on the d-pad you will get a shellac record um uh so what we need to do we need to find basically i think there's five Memoir records and um, plus four broken pieces that we need to find throughout the game and then we need to play every single one So pop that one on then by pressing the a button and now collect a photograph as well. Oh Yeah, man, she got gray haircut, bro Yeah, all right, all right cheap venom. All right venom from wish old venom Right, uh, you can head to the right and now press down on the d-pad to go downstairs as it were and then what we're going to do then is just head to the left. And, ooh, there's some below. So you can use the door key right there and the door will open up. 
Now, you don't actually have to stand there while everyone talks. You can, obviously, these are not cutscenes, so you're not skipping anything. So you can ask, and you'll have to talk to some people, but with the dialogue, you can just nip it on. Right, there is old uh, Venom from Wish, and then we're going to start going into James's memories. Ah, uh, Benedict, the cadaver you call your father. His sorrow and dread have not yet dwindled. The shade is so dense and the madness so fierce that I can barely hold on. No sign of a struggle anywhere around him. And yet, he defended himself desperately. But from whom? The trail of blood leads to this lock. Not all is lost yet. I can guide you through his memories, Benedict. So this is what we will basically be doing throughout the game. We'll be going in James's and eventually Marie's memories, going back to the mansion and doing all types of crazy stuff. Right, we go straight into the gloopy stuff. Brilliant. So we're going to head to the left. Obviously, this is a Metroidvania and a platforming game. Uh, just continue past the uh, tentacles here. This ain't no anime, so they're not there to pleasure you. They're there to kill you. And you. Uh, just keep continue jumping onto the left. Of course, this is more like a tutorial thing where we're going to see our first enemy. Normally, if you're playing just on normal mode, enemies like this take about three hits. And then, of course, you press the right bumper to parry. Um, but obviously, we want hit killing everything and immortal, so we are super Q. Right, uh, drop down and again. And one more time. Oh no, the amplificator is damaged. <laughs> Oh no, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to drop down. And then we're going to drop to the other side. Go to the left and... I mean, if you could make the jump, that would be fantastic. There are a lot of times in this game where you may or may not pretty much make the jump. Uh, again, press down with the D-pad to pick up the Conundrum Keys note. This is, again, for another achievement, we basically have to collect all of the Conundrum notes. So again, if there has, was something that you have specifically missed or anything like that, I will put an achievement timestamp down below with every item that we will collect throughout the game. So if you're missing one, just go through the list, my precious is. Right, so after killing the enemy, we can drop down. Uh, we can, well, we can attempt to open the door, but apparently the demon can't just bash through for us, which is nice. So we head to the right and drop down again, and then again, and then again. <laughs> And it's a bit dust. No, anybody? Dust. Anybody want some dust? And here are some rabid dogs for the extra deliciousness. And you know what we're going to do here. We're going to slice and dice. Slice, dice. Up the vice, I said. Slice and dice in that boy. Yeah, there we go. All right, so continue heading to the right. And we're going to pick up these splinters here. And for some reason, our... Venom had an orgasm or something there. Ah, splinters. They feel so good. So we climb up, head to the left, and continue to do so. And there we go. So we jump back up, and we'll continue heading to the left. Now, uh, here's another enemy, so obviously just be careful if you're playing it legit, or go kick his ass if you are playing with one-hit kills like me. Um, which again, a lot of people will be happy and a lot of people won't be happy with that. Um, personally, as we grab another item here, it's another deformed skull. Personally, I think it's a, it's a good idea with the devs because Metroidvanias and platformers are not everyone's cup of tea. So it does give people who are not really into these games a chance to, you know, a chance to sort of play it and maybe even enjoy it. So if you want to do it legit and the hard way, I want to pay you for that, but if you want to play it the easy way like I'm doing, then there's literally nothing wrong with that either. So we're going to interact with here with this rat painting. Um, 
I don't know where the rat is. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's one of Manchester City's players. Stupid Manchester City. Uh, they beat Manchester United in the FA Cup final today, and uh, that mightily depressed me out. So, uh, why do we do it to ourselves, sports fans? Why? So we're going to jump up anyway and jump across. Quickly do it because they uh, will fall. And that's what you don't want. Kill El Doggo. And of course, we're going to pick up another item here. I don't think there's any other enemies. Nah. So the decorative comb. Which, I mean, if you're a bald man, it's pretty pointless. You can sort of twist your chest hair or your nipple hair or something. Maybe your gooch hair. I, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, let's not do that. Sorry. So going through the door. That's why it didn't open earlier. And uh, we'll drop back down. Another thing you will notice with this game is if there is a lot, and I mean a serious amount, of going back and forth. There is a lot of going back and forth. Um, but it will be for things. It's not because I get lost or anything. It's just that we have to continue going these places. So we climb back up then, and this time we'll climb up by pressing up on the do pad. Here we go. And we'll go to the left. And these enemies are just... Well, you know, there's no point in explaining. You just kill them, boy. Benedict. And what you've just seen here is an anchor. Now, this basically acts as a, a fast travel point, a, tele, a teleporter. So, the, obviously, the more we open, we get an achievement for opening all of them. Um, obviously, the more we open, the uh, easier the places that we can go to. So, we'll get another achievement for that as well. Don't jump into the purple ink because that will instantly kill you and you'll just start from exactly where you just were. Uh, this is called a Kogai door. Now, again... If you want to just go through it, you can auto-solve it. But we do need a Kogai pin if you want to do it uh, sort of the legit way. Um, like I said, I think if you just go ahead and auto-solve everything, everything just still gets a little bit confusing with it. So that's why I've decided to sort of leave the leave the puzzles and uh, do the puzzles. So at least there's a bit of an element of a challenge, as it were. Because I don't want to... Pee off all the people that do this legit, because they get angry for some particular reason. Over and over. Shameful. Itching. Uncomfortable. Even for me. Now again, even like I said earlier, if there is some dialogue, you can actually just continue on because it won't be a cutscene. Um, we will drop down, we'll kill this guy. <laughs> will explode the crap out of us, apparently. Damn you! I slice the air in frustration. So, climb up to the left. Now, we are going to head to the right, and then what we're going to need to do is get a gun out. So, press the left bumper, uh, move the left stick to aim, and then the X button to shoot, and that will open up the next anchor point. Wow, look at it. So, we can refill items anytime we need any bullets or anything like that. You can refill items. The ink... As you can see in the top right-hand corner, with the few puzzles we've done so far, we've already got 22. Now, as we head to the left here again, um, and up to the right, and climb up again. Now, obviously, if you were playing this legit and you had more chances to die, you would uh, go ahead and secure the ink by sending it through the teleporter. But since, again, we are on immortality mode, then it's all good. Um, we don't really need to worry about that. So we're going to climb up all the way to the top. I did just open up the door as well, just as a little way through. And we come into an area where we are going to fight the first boss here, the librarian. So, um, basically, you're just going to hit the tentacles a couple of times. And once you've hit it enough times, head to the left or the right. The big fish thing will open his way up. And then what you're going to do is, no, oh, eventually, there we go. So you see the weak points there is just the yellow points. You just need to hit them, and then this little bit will appear, and it's just a little quick time event then. Um, obviously, this is one-hit kill, so that's why it went so quick, but um, they are the only sort of moves that he does. So, if, again, if you're playing a legit, you just have to hit the tentacles, and then just hit either side of his cheek when he uh, pops in, and slap his head down. So, yeah, it's quite, quite very early for a boss, but uh, not, not a bad one at all. Um, you know, the sort of legit way. It's even better when you're on playing on the modes that we are right now. So heading back up then and to the right, you will get an achievement for that, by the way. For some particular reason, it didn't unlock on screen for me, but you will get the shh 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 shh
So we're reliving the memory now. Now these are cutscenes. So again, make sure not, as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner, it says skip. Again, these are very important not to skip. And these are actually very easy to skip. So again, be on your best lookout. Try not to do that because we can interact with this bit as well. Um, it's basically just a cutscene where we watch some stuff. Uh, we When the interact button pops up, we can do that. So press and hold the A button. And flabar, there is the combination code that we need. Now, again, you can take a picture, write it down, or just follow along, because I know that's what you like to do. Right, uh, press right now on the D-pad to go to the next one. Again, do not skip it. What are they arguing about? The ritual. The memory fades here. Perhaps more transpired elsewhere. Now, only when you see the skip turn to exit, like now, then you can um, go ahead and press and hold the B button to back out. But again, make sure never to press the B button until it says exit rather than skip. Hopefully, I've got that in your head by now, but you never know just in case. So back down the elevator we go. It's a gingerbread man kind of whiskey day. And then we head to the right, and we are going to secure the ink just because... And then we are actually going to teleport for the first time. Now, as you can see on the right-hand side, um, you can press the right and left trigger to go to James's Limbo and Marie's Limbo later on. And then you can just press the left stick to go up and down to choose a particular entrance. The foyer for the mansion will always be at the top. And then all of the anchor points we unlock, again, on the right-hand side there, will unlock later on. And obviously, you'll have more choices to go places. So... Yeah, getting through it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell myself to hurry the hell up, man. Press the A button to continue. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Off to the left, then. And again, make sure not to skip any cutscenes. I'm going to keep uh, saying, because the last time, um, I think it was Day of the Tentacle, I didn't say it nearly enough, and then people got annoyed with me. So I'm going to tell you, after every cutscene, don't skip the bloody cutscene, mate. Of Benedict. You got that thing I asked you about? I got you, kid. Got it right here. Thanks, and by the way, I have some amber for you. Sorry, but these are completely worthless to me. No one knows what to do with it. But if, along the way, you've dug up any bits and pieces of memories, feel free to browse my way. So we've now got to work in Amplificator, not an Amplificator, just in case anyone who is 420 friendly was uh, wondering what I was on about there. Uh, but these are the sort of upgrades that we can get then, um, which obviously we'll get later on with a lot of money, but this is where the shop is. So we'll uh, come back to that later anyway. So heading back into the left, we've now got the combination. So again, uh, just follow exactly how you see on screen. And that's an easy one, this one, this one, this one. And then we get the key of life. Now, again, obviously a lot of times with these puzzles, I'll probably, I'll just explain, you know, when we come up to a new puzzle, I'll explain what you got to do. And then I'll just probably, uh, in fact, I will just tell you there to um, follow the 
on-screen instructions because it'll probably just be it'll be easier rather than me going yeah put it this way put it that way it'll just be easier to follow along on screen anyway for now we are heading to where our dad is just still chilling um this is the first little puzzle that we got to do again if you're not fancying puzzles and you've uh, chose the option to press the left on the d-pad to skip it what we need to do then we need to choose the uh key which will automatically put you on the first key so you just need to place it which will be on the right hand side one that's what we'll do first and that'll get rid of one of the lock and the last key so so you need to interact with the empty space that will get get you to choose a key and then you can do that one so you're just going to make sure all three of these are on the bottom and that's it that's job done now we can get the hell out of here and wow look where we are it's a place with a big fat golem on the left hand side there that's weird and so immediately then here we are we have a medieval wood wood cut out thing plus we also have a note which we will uh, interact with both of those so we will take this medieval wood cut wood cut yes that'll do and there's another torn page right in front of the fire as well so make sure to be grabbing this one looks a little torn a little too torn to tar to torn to tear to tattoo right uh what you do head to the left interact with the golem right here damn that is looking yeah well hmm interesting very interesting Right, so there we go then. So we get a side quest there. We're going to head up the steps. In fact, no, we're going to the right. Sorry, ignore me. We're going straight to the right. And we're going to interact with our papa once again. Now, imagine seeing your papa all on the floor there and you're just going to keep touching him going to do this weird memory thing. Awesome. Uh, so continue on to the left again. Just uh, don't worry about the old tentacles. Again, this is not anime, so we're not going to have a good time with that one this time. <laughs> Uh, uh, we can just climb up to the left. Again, remember you got your double jump ability going. Plus, the enemies will respawn here. So, if you can, try not to get mashed up as I did a million times here. Just <laughs> smash him and be on your way. <laughs> smash him like a pasty. There we go. That's corned beef pasty. Done. Right, drop down. And drop down again, of course. And then drop down again. This time, um, we are going to go to the right. Just continue down. And there is another enemy there, but we're going to jump up to the left and we are going to grab the mother's embrace. His mother, my grandmother. Awesome. So we'll take that one then. Again, we've got about four or five, I think, of those to find. So drop down again, kill the enemy. Kill the enemy. All grimy. And then jump to the right. And then we can actually just drop down now. And then we're going to double jump across to the left in order to find another bit of Mother's Embracio. So that's the second one already. There we go, look. Flying through now. Flying through. Just another, uh, you know, three and a bit hours left. So drop down, kill the enemy here. Oh, look at that skill before I got mashed up myself. Yeah. And then continue on your merry way. Drop, uh, double jump again to the left and again. Now, the double jump can be a bit finicky sometimes. You can literally go for a gap and then the double jump actually doesn't work. So, it's a bit, yeah, it can be a bit finicky and a bit weird. Uh, so, just be aware of that. Many times I went to jump across places and it just didn't work. So, we've climbed up anyway. Uh, now, we're going to head to the left past the anchor point And we're going to continue on to the left. Over the ink and far away. Teletubbies, man. They ain't coming up to play in this one. Uh, drop down that Kogai door we will do a little bit later on. So continue dropping down into the right over the ink. And uh, <laughs> we'll try that one again. Double jump your way over to the right. And yeah. There we go. And then we can double jump our way up. And then once again, you can. We need to do is sort of. It's sort of like a wall climb thing. So jump up to the left and then jump up to the right there. Tidy, and then jump up again, and then finally we have the withered hand. And again, this is pretty much what it's like now for the rest of the game. We're just going to be exploring a lot of locations, gathering a lot of items, and doing a lot of pretty much going past a lot of places that we've seen five, six, or eleven times. So uh, continue to the right. The door will be locked, so we can't actually continue to the right. So we'll need to go left. 
Um, if you want, you can take a nice ink bath. It will kill you. But, um, you know, like I said, anytime that happens, you just start off exactly where you were. So it's tidy, that one. Jumping up. And then, of course, up again. And then up to the right. Right, so when we get here then, we are going to jump, take a double jump to the left. And we're going to interact with the mirror. Somebody's actually trapped inside the mirror. Oh my god. How did you do that? That's Q. Uh, probably not for you right now, but there we go. So, uh, double jump in, go over the ink, of course, again. And then we can drop. <laughs> we are going to drop down. There we go. And then we'll just drop down again. And over to the right. And right here then, uh, what we need to do is... Now, there's something shimmering in the water. That's exactly what we need to get. So just smash the tentacles as much as you can. And then with the shimmering in the water, just quickly grab that much as, uh, as quick as you can. It's the Family Planning Policy Papers. The FPPP. Yeah, the F. I need a triple P. And with that, you should be good to go now. So drop back down. Again, over the ink place. But we are going to go um, into this little weird... Sexhony of life only. Hello. Right, double jump up. And we, there's more mirrors. <gasps> and yeah. More dogs. Kill them. Smash them down. Smash them dry. Uh, we'll drop down. Head to the left. Uh, there is another Mother's Embrace here, but there's also a couple of... Cheeky little doggy dogs to slice, destroy, and slice like a custard slice. And like Ice Cube and Villy Manilly Manilly Manilly. Anyway, head to the left after you've killed dogs, and you'll get the next Mother's Embrace. So once that has been collected then, what we're going to do, we're going to drop down to the right. We're just going to open up the door, and then we're going to head back the way we came. So, um, this is just basically another little shortcut for us when we need it a little bit later on. So, for now, just continue uh, going back on yourself. So, the old double jumps of life. And then what we're going to do, we'll jump up here. And then we'll continue going to the left. So, this time you need to do a double jump without dying. I mean, it, you can if you want. It took me a couple of tries. But, <laughs> terrible. Right, now with this bit, um, what we are going to need to do, in fact, we don't have the power yet, so we're going to actually continue climbing up for now. But eventually, we will be able to break through some boards on the floor with a, another power. Now, I never got that. Like, somebody's gone, oh, I think I can do it, but I actually need the power first. Yeah. Anyway, here's a reflection. Beware the foe ahead. But, you know, one hit kill, bro. Smash him. Shoot him. Slap him. Stick your pinnies in him. Whatever. That opens up yet another anchor point if we need it. So, double jump up. And again, of course. And then again to the right. And then again to the left. And then again to the left. And here we are then in the Hall of Mirrors. So, there's a couple of enemies about there. And what we need to do is it's kind of like a maze puzzle. And the woman who is trapped inside, we actually need to rescue her. Her by going into sort of different varying mirrors and you'll go into another one so what we're going to do we're going to drop down and you need to press the down button there to go and then just keep spamming the x button and she'll end up uh just a floor above there onto the right hand side but i'm fairly fairly sure this is not random a couple of enemies here to slice and dice as well so make sure to do that so what will happen is when you go through a mirror you will go through it so when we go to the right hand side one here we can, should be able to just make your way and double jump across to the right. To go into the, I did, I was actually trying to just uh, cheat it a little bit. But we're just a little bit out of reach. So, um, beware these flying enemies as well. You can either shoot them or just wait until they come to you. And then just give them a, you know, a slice of dice. As it turns out, I've got no bullets. So, uh, ah, you son of a god. Damn it. Or you can just jump up and kill him that way. It's a lot easier doing that one. So yeah, just head back to the sort of middle platform. And we are going to head inside this mirror. Hello. 
So once we head inside, we're gonna kill old Skeletor, <laughs> Skeletor. And then we're gonna make a double jump to the right. Ah, boink, there we go, job done. Now what we can do then is double jump across to the right again, and again press down on the D-pad and then mash the next X button. <laughs> Damn, that is one messed up mirror, bro. My love, I want to rescue you. Where you go? Um, right, so I actually tried to double jump across to the left there. It did not work at all. That is what I mean sometimes by the double jump ability can be a bit finicky. So you'll press it twice and then you'll just go, uh, and fall straight his ass on the floor. So, job done. There we go. So we need to get back to the next one. Now we'll go through this mirror. We will end up in the top right-hand corner. Couple of enemies to kill again. The old flying Saurons. Or the old Craprons. And then once that's done, rescue the damsel in distress and fall in love. Because that's what happens in usually every TV show and film, doesn't it? Oh, thank gods you've showed up. Don't know who you both are, but I'm in your debt. Both? I'm Benedict Fox, ma'am. A detective. Well... Aren't I lucky? Also, you don't have to pretend. I can see both of you. Judging by the surroundings, you're no ordinary duo. Fascinating. I'd love to chat more, but I'm in a terrible need of a bath. What the hell was that? Now again, you will get the next achievement called the Damsel in Distress. But again, it didn't unlock for me for whatever particular reason, which is annoying. So, you know, enjoy yours popping on screen, hopefully. But from here, we can drop all the way down to the floor and then continue on to the left. Ooh. And the first thing we'll come across then is the note with symbols. If you press down on the D-pad there, we will take the next note with symbols for the conundrum. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. Uh, you can interact with it if you want, but obviously we can't do the thing yet because we don't have the things that we need to do the things that we need. So, we're good to go. We will just go straight through the mirror and double jump across to the left-hand side. Again, if you can do it without feeling like I just done there, that'll make life a little bit easier. But if not, then just go through the next mirror, double jump again to the right. Ah, uh, oh, son of a... God... Uh, let us try again. For the last time, for the Olympic gold! Now, nah, just go straight through this mirror, so we can end up back in the top right-hand mirror once again. And from here, then, we can simply and lovingly teleport our way. And this time, we are going to go back to the foyer. So remember, on the right-hand side, the foyer is right at the very top. So we will head there next. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to head to the left first of all, we're going to speak to little henners. Now, you can, in fact, I think the majority of quests involve you having to ask about all of these people, um, all of the questions and things that we figured out, but you don't actually have to listen to them waffle on for ages, so you can literally just say, press the top, top option and then press the right option, and then you can just continue on um, on your merry way. Now, I do be a little bit polite first and listen to all the stories, but eventually we just talk to them and then run away because, man, man, we ain't got, nobody got time for that. So, if you want to upgrade the medicine or the miracle water, you can do, you can, up, you can buy the stone plate and you can also buy the smoke bomb, which of course we need for achievements anyway. And then if you want to upgrade them, press the A button, we will get another achievement here for Soldier Spy. And just press the left bumper or right bumper in order to... Um, upgrade the quantity or the quality of it. Depends which one you want. But of course, we will be getting enough money to do them all anyway. So if you're playing on it, if you've got immortality on, obviously there's no point buying anything to do with the miracle water just yet. So might as well just get a cheeky smoke bomb upgrade, you know, and a little bit of a little bit of a KFC as well. Because man, Benedict is looking skinny boy. So anyway, heading to the right. Um, again, you can have a look at the symbol of the door. 
But I don't think we can actually do it just yet. Oh, as it turns out, I lied. Yes, follow along on screen. We can actually do it. My bad. <laughs> Whip day. Man, this is one hell of a mansion, though. So you interact with the stroller anyway. Uh, you can't actually take this, but you, do, you get a little bit of uh, money for it, or, or currency for it, as it were. So from here, then, back out, we can head to the right. Just continue heading on until you find the Mandragora, which is basically... He just looks like a steroided-up version of Groot, doesn't he? I am Groot, and I can bench press 200 kilos. Uh, so continue all the way to the right anyway, and we've got another cutscene to cut. Oh, to not skip, cut. With coal, mind and spine, crippled from frostbite, none should die this way. This looks bad. You okay, kid? Yeah. I know she's not my mother, but still, I feel guilty about feeling nothing. Hmm. I know a thing or two on how to untie such knots. Go grab some linen. I'll help you. Well, damn. How long have these people not been in the mansion for to find, you know, two bodies that are just chilling? Uh, right, we can't actually do anything with the statue yet. We do need another key. We also need a device. So we, what we do need to get is rope and a bat bed sheet. So we're going to continue all the way to the left until we get to the main foyer entrance up the stairs. Next, we will head to the right, continue heading to the right, and then, well, hello ma'am, taking a little shower, are we? Uh, yes, so, our new friend is taking a shower, although I suppose, do they not have mirrors in the other side of the mirror world? Yeah, anyway, go into the next room and pick up the bed sheet. Oh, it's folded over, are you trying to tell us something? That we stink, probably. Uh, we're going to head back downstairs, and then when we go to the right, you will see that somehow the magicicity of the lady is right here. Damn. Uh, okay. You'll be my canvas. I believe you have what I need to make you stronger. Take a seat. But this is where we upgrade Benedict himself, and this is where we can get the extra powers and everything from. We're by basically just getting tattooed. That's why tattoos are cool and awesome. So we're just going to grab the first one first, which is the Companion's Grasp, which I believe is just like an extra, extra, extra jump. Um, apparently it hurts as well, because I've never seen anyone like that go nuts over a little tiny little stinging blue laser ray tattoo. And we should, you should be on roughly the same amount of ink there on the top right hand corner. So now we should be on 60 or less. Ah. Mate, calm down. It's just a bit of fire on the skin. You probably had worse. By the looks of you. Man, you've been clapped up, boy. Um, And I think that is all we can afford for now. But we do have an extra two tattoos slash an extra two powers. Again, it's obviously got the description there to tell you exactly what it is and what it'll do. So intense. We're not intense. We are just chilling. Um, we are inside the house, not intense. Anyway, head to the right, and eventually we're going to find the rope here where the where our supposed grandmother was just uh, chilling, as it were, chilling for uh, quite a while. Yeesh. Right, head back to the left and speak to Henna's. Need to be careful. Moving the body before entering might have screwed something up. Ah! 
Now we're off into Marie's Limbo, and what's good, we're going to start it off with a little sliding section where we're not trying not to get eaten by bloody plants. So, jump up, jump here, or oh, foremost, jump again, and then what you're going to need to do is do a quick double jump. There we go. And again, and then when we slide, quick jumps. It can be easy to die there, but um, I did a couple of times. But if you do end up dying for whatever particular reason, as we unlock an anchor point, you will just start from the beginning again, so that's fine. So slide down and then jump across to the left. Jump up to the right, and you need to slide down and then jump to the right again. There we go, so it's all new, it's all new stuff going on now. Uh, from here we can obviously only go to the left, so slide it down. There will be a couple of enemies in just a little bit, so continue to head down. Down, down, brown cow. Oh man, there we go, look, so we got this one who sort of sticks his nose straight up your butt. And then continue on. And by continue on, I mean jump over to the left to get yet another item. This is the family photo of some sort. And then, of course, after you do that, you're going to go down and bam them. You're going to smash those enemies, dog. Time ago, years before your father joined the family. So once that's taken care of, jump up, jump to the right, and then of course jump up to the left, and we're going to open the door, oh and this one actually does decide to open. Slide down, jump across, and just continue on for the moment. So when we finally jump up to the top, then what you're going to find is a dead canary. Now, basically, this is like the whole of the Norwich Football Club team um, doing fantastic in the championship and staying there. Because there's no point getting into the premiership because it'll just get relegated again the next season anyway. Sorry, football talk. <laughs> I, I just, you love it. Uh, football, not egg ball, by the way. Uh, so again, as we jump up, we're going to climb and uh, we're going to smash old... <laughs> These slender man looking bras. There we go. Anything else? No? Dust? Anybody? No? Well, just a conundrum key we will pick up then. And once you pick this up as well, make sure to go to the left to pick up another conundrum note. So a lot of these, as you can see, they're like little flashes on the ground, but it is very, very easy to miss some of these. So make sure to pick up again the symbols note, and then we should be good to go. Thank you, Sigmund. Your Sigmund is Sigmundius. Brilliant language I'm just making up there. Right, of course, we will come back and do this puzzle later. Again, if you're not fancying it, you can just go ahead and auto-solve it now and then come back later, but, uh, you know, completely up to you. So we're going to drop back down, head into the right, drop back down. Uh, another... I mean, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. That's like a big dog. Oh, something... Uh, and then we are going to pick up the memoirs record here. So if you remember at the um, sort of the beginning of the game, we put a record on. We picked up a shellac record. This is one out of, I believe, five that we need to find and grab. So head to the right once you've grabbed that, the memoirs record, and go into the right. Now, you're probably going to use a smoke bomb at some point during the game, but if you just go ahead and press right on the D-pad, you will use a smoke bomb and get the achievement. Uh, John Cena style, you can see me! Now, I've got my hand in front of my face doing the whole John Cena thing, but you can't see, so I'm going to stop looking like a tool now. Right, back to the foyer we go. And once we get in, we're going to head to the left. We're going to talk to Henry about Van Bonman, Bonman Bowden, whatever, which it was. He disappeared. Many speculated that old Von Bothmer went crazy after his wife's death. But maybe those are just rumors. And again, like I said, you don't have to continue and listen to the whole conversation, but we can now head to the left because we've used a conundrum key. A couple of things we are going to grab, of course. The first one, uh, first thing we will do here is just inspect this um, device, which, well, as you can see, it's got a couple of numbers on it. Uh, a couple of letters and symbols and whatever, so we'll inspect it. 
We're going to inspect the back and then we're going to expect, uh, inspect the keyhole right here. So, you know, straight in drag. Get in there, boy. Engraved symbol with the initials A V B. Hmm. But this is a recurring puzzle. So what you have to do is you, you obviously see the uh, symbol. We have to make that with the symbols by just changing them, as it were. So obviously uh, left stick to um, change to the next ring. And then you press up or down to change the combination. So obviously, and then if you see on the device at the top right there, you will see what is uh, going to be needed. So basically, when we pick up another four later, there will be... And there we go then, so that is exactly what it should look like. So we can hold the A button to send the wave and you should now get a book. So in this book, there are a whole bunch of um, different symbols and everything. When we uh, fix this later on by grabbing the other two, we will then have to basically uh, put these symbol together using all four of those um, sort of rings, those symbols, but again, a little bit more on that later on when we get to it. So for now, we are just going to head, well, we've headed up, and now we are getting up my personal most not enjoyable puzzle in the game. Now, I'm showing you this once, then I'll skip the rest, but basically, what you can see is a spark going around slowly. That's basically a timer. So what you have to do is press Y to get the book open. Whatever symbol it is that you've got, because they are random, um, you have to try and match a part of the symbol to the line of, first of all, the thousands in the book, which is the fourth row, from one to six thousand. It could be any one of those. When you figure it out, you then move on to the hundreds. So check the symbol shape, then check the one the, the hundreds line, then the double digits, and then the top line. So for instance, for my first one here, I see it as a backwards H, so I found it on eight thousand. So the first number was uh, would be eight for me. Next would be 400, which kind of looks like an upside down Y, so that's four. Then the double digits for me is the guy pointing, sort of, so that's two. Then a hangman looking game, which is seven. So the code I need to find is 8427 for the first one. So basically, you just find the symbol, take the first number off that, and then you just add the code together, and voila! So I do hope that makes sense. Um, it took me a, a while to sort of figure it out, but hopefully that does make sense. Again, if not, and you're really not enjoying it, as I didn't, in all fairness, you can just go ahead and auto-skip the puzzle to make things a bit easier for you. So yeah, yes, I got it eventually, but yeah, that one, for me anyway, was a bit more of a pain. But again, hopefully my explanation made sense as we go ahead and pick up the Book of Shadows. Something tells me you could have just uh, stacked up a couple of chairs and just jumped up, but uh, there we go. We've got to do things the hard way, apparently. So we drop back down and we head now to the right. And with the gramophone, obviously we've got the one uh, memoir record, so we're going to take the record off. We've already played this one, the red one, so now we're going to play memoirs number one. Because that is what the achievement is for. Not only collecting them, but you've got to play them all as well. Uh, you, again, you don't have to listen to the dialogue. We can simply just press the B button to back out and make the rock go. But that uh, this obviously counts as uh, playing the one. So if you've got enough ink, again, you can go to the tattooist. And uh, now effectively, I've ov obviously, we're only going to be going from top to bottom. So if you've got enough ink... Get as many tattoos as he can. Ah. 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 Don't keep me waiting. That's enough punishment, dear love. Tanky. So uh, let's head to the right. Sorry, uh, Cheap Venom here just uh, throws me off when he talks sometimes. So continue on to the right. This time we are going to climb down. And again, this is another little chess puzzle that we can do. You can, Again, you can either auto-solve auto, auto solve it or you can just um, uh, do the puzzle here. Basically, we have to just put three of the L-looking shapes in a specific order and get a particular symbol up on the last key. And that will open up the chest. So what we're going to do with the symbol that looks like a normal L, we're going to put that one on the second key. 
And then what we're going to do is grab the upside down L pointing to the left. And then we're going to put that on the uh, third keyhole and then grab the upside down looking L going to the right and put that in the last one. And then with that one done, let's do it. I think I forgot to say let's do it at the start. So let's do it. So uh, there we go. We've got our device up. So what we need to do is basically just match the symbol from the key to the um, obviously on the device. So they are exactly the same. Once you've done that and you hold the A button, it should then work and we can then pop it on. So sometimes though it can be kind of hard to see. Um, this is the exact uh, symbol, what it's supposed to look like. It kind of looks like a guy with a broken leg with two massive eyes or something. But uh, yeah, so sometimes it can be kind of hard to see right there. So again, the way you get those symbols up is just by moving the rings. Um, now again, when we come to those puzzles later on, again, it'll just be easier for you to watch the screen rather than me tell you which symbols to try and bloody look for. Anyway, once you've opened up that chest, uh, we should be good to go. And we are going to head towards the... Uh, we going to the library? We are going to the library indeed. Or the library. And I know how much uh, words like that really annoy people, which is hilarious. Let's go to the library. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> once we are here at the strawberry, the library, uh, we can just drop down and continue dropping down again. Head to the left. And here we are. Now we can actually interact with this symbol, which we couldn't be uh, before. So we're going to open up the device. And again, all you're going to do is just look what symbols I put on the screen. And uh, we will get three numbers popping. Oh, nicely done, guys. Nice and easy. Again, I do apologize that sometimes the symbols may be sort of hard to see because uh, yeah, some of them are very similar and very familiar. Um, but hopefully you shouldn't have uh, many problems following along when I do those sort of puzzles. So, dropping down here, smashing the enemy, square in the old pasty butt. And then just continuing on to the right and jumping up and then continuing on to the... L Never mind, we're just continuing on to the left before because we need to get the snake knot. Sorry, that's why we're not going all the way just yet. So we're just grabbing the snake knot, and then we're continuing on. Yeah. So again, I probably won't be talking as much now through these little platforming sections, um, I, 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 you know, unless we don't know as we kill an enemy and open up another anchor point. You know, unless it's a new area and things like that, it's pretty straightforward in order to just um, follow it along here. But anyway, we're grabbing the conundrum note. So that's another piece of the puzzly conundrum armus. And then we can just head drop straight down. And uh, this is our first camp, actually. So there are a bunch of camps in the game. Um, basically, just with a couple of enemies in it, we get listed the description code. And then we have to do a little wheel puzzle. Um, which, again, is easy enough to sort of follow it along. But again, if you're having any problems with it, 
just go ahead and auto solve it just to save yourself a little bit of a headache right there So this is another sort of outer ring puzzle type thing where sometimes if you spin the fourth one, then the first one will go along with it, etc. So again, what you can easily do is, uh, once we open it up here, you just follow along by going to the right or left, whichever way I've gone. Um, if you do accidentally end up going the opposite way first, just put it the opposite way and then, you know, do it that way. Um, otherwise, you know, for the most part, these are relatively straightforward and relatively easy. But again, if you're not into the puzzles or you're just having a stressful day and you don't feel much like using your brain much, obviously you've always got that option to uh, go nuts and babada boopy, auto skip it. So that'll be our first achievement anyway, no camping for clearing up the first camp. And then what we're going to do then is just continue on downwards this time, on the downward spiral now. So a cheeky little bit of platforming coming up here. Again, very easy. I think it is, um, you know, apart from the sort of finicky double jumping, the platform is kind of easy enough in this game. Um, but we do have the atrocity here. And that is pretty atrocious, isn't it? Well, I guess we'll just uh, take him and put him in a back pocket and hopefully it's not part of an Indian burial ground where, you know, I get haunted by ghosts and stuff. So, are we going to drop down again? Incredibly, Benedict Fox never takes any fall damage, so nay panicky bother about that. Kill off LO enemies to open up another anchor point. You cheeky anchor. There you go, kill flying broski. And then from here... Um, sorry, just having a little look. There we go. So, we're heading back to the left. And effectively, we're just going back the same way. Oh, well, almost. To kill this bro. There we go, that, that's more like it. And then just continue jumping over to the right. Now what you need to do is just wait on the left hand side and then make a run and jump. And ba -ba -da bing bong Sometimes you may not make it like that one, so just try, try again. But when we do jump up here then, we have got yet another note. And again, we are not going to get our butts handed to us because of course we are so manly. And wom womanly that we uh well we put the old uh, invincibility on because why not if the option's there boy you know I'm doing it so this is the Gollum revival ritual note and if we head to the right we can also find the spark of genius just reminds me of those um you know those Apple iTech geniuses that you find in the shop uh, it's and I'm pretty much referring to that South Park episode. Oh, yes. So we drop down, head down, and this is the first conundrum wheel. This is the hundreds one. Um, now, it, obviously, you'll know that. It's the device. So we get need to get that fixed. Now, to jump, drop through the floor, um, double jump a couple of times, and then press the right trigger, and that will smash you through the floor with uh, Benedict's mega strong steroid-infused leg bags. So you can only drop through the floor with little bits of... The sort of green glow over them. And so once we've done that, we're going to jump up. And of course, we've got the achievement as well. And then we've also found a wooden ox heart. I prefer the um, less wooden -y kind. A bit more protein in that one. But uh, there we go. So we drop down again. A few more enemies to Demstroy. <gasps> Huh. 
Now, don't go off all the way to the right yet. We're going to make a jump to the left, and then we're going to make another jump, double jump here to the right. Again, if you can actually get it first time instead of being like me and being a flipping noob, then that'll all be good. But this is where the conundrum wheel thousands is. So now the device that we've used earlier, that will now be complete. Uh, so we can just, there's nothing up to the right though. So we can just continue dropping down and into the left here. And, you know, not dying by ink. <laughs> Jumping up. And that's it. And that, this, this is effectively what this game is like. It's just a lot of going behind everywhere and up and down and all around. We've got the secret behind the statue page as well. So quite a few items we are pickling up. Pick them up, pick them, boy. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure that's it now for this section. So now we can actually continue on. But we are going to... Well, if you want to, if you see these enemies bast in red, it means you can't actually hit them. You actually need to destroy this thing, whatever it is that they're attached to. And then you can kill the enemies. Clever, huh? Um, no, I, I did tell a little lie. Here's our last breath. And when I say last breath, it just reminds me of that brilliant Connie quote. Before I kill you, Poe, I just want to know that the last thing that little Casey Poe ever gets to smell will be my stinking breath. What a film Conair is. And I know everyone's in agreement with me, so there's no point arguing. Uh, so again, smash old enemy up here. And then we can just continue on to the right. And do all your jumping and, you know, all that stuff we've already been used to for an hour by now. From here then, we are going to continue heading to the left. There was a little, what well, kind of looked like your sphincter if you're dying for a dump. There it is, look. Like, oh, she's going to blow. But we can't actually uh, use that yet. So we just opened up the gate there. And now we've got to basically head all the way back to where we came from a little bit earlier on. So it's just a case of following along. Full of blah. So hopefully you are able to keep up with me. I do apologize if I am being a bit quick, but now we are on to a puzzle. So when we drop down here, just stay here for the moment and then it'll start spinning around again. Once this is done, immediately head over to the right. Run, Forrest, run! And just stay here for a second and then it's going to start turning again. Once that is done, we're going to jump up. Stay. Stay, 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 Sonara. Stay your body right. And it's going to turn again. There it is. Then we can just continue on to the right. Drop down all the way down quick as you can. And you should be uh, there just in time. And we can drop down when the gate opens. And we'll, we'll get the astral globe. That looks like it's worth a couple of few cheeky bucks. Big lottery win for us, eh? Yeah. Anyway, once that's done, we can uh, obviously climb back up. And we are just going to actually just drop down now. Continue heading to the right. And then jump up. Jump up again. And just drop down. And that'll get you out of that one. The mind going in circles can construct some true. Okay, make sure to jump here because directly below is a vat of pooly death acid ink. As you can see, I burnt myself silly on that one. Uh, but anyway, we can continue heading to the left this time. Right, so we are coming up to a little zone. We're not going to the left. I'm just uh, getting a little bit of momentum. Boosh, there we go. I'm like Carl... Davis Jr. Jr., the jump guy with the sand pit and stuff. You know, all that olympic -y stuff. Right, we're coming up to what's called an Inquisition Zone, where basically it's this one fiery demon hell, bro, that we cannot hit and we cannot kill. 
he can actually um, suck you in and then start choking you out, which you need to do a little quick time event if that happens. Now, of course, playing this legit, especially on hard mode, would be uh, <laughs> ridiculous. But, again, we cannot hurt him at all from this point. So what we need to do is try and jump over him. There we go. And then if we just continue on and climb up, there's these little golden sparky balls. What you need to do is hit that as quick as you can. And eventually it will be destroyed. And there we go. That's the first Inquisition. There's three that we got to do in the game, and that is where the first one is then. Coupe de Grace. Coupe de Gras. So continue up and on to the right. I say right, and I meant to uh, take a double jump to the left. All the way down. Roll up, roll up, let's go back to the foyer, and of course refill items as well, so you can get a smoke bomb back and whatever else you've used. Head to the mansion foyer once again though. And again, when we head to the left here, we're going to go ahead and speak to Henry. We are going to ask him about all of the things. And if you want to do a shop and upgrade some stuff, you can. Um, otherwise, don't worry about it too much. But you're in luck. Well, I'll be damned. It looks exactly like the one you sold me 10, 15 years ago. So yeah, he will blah, 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 and we will continue onwards. Sorry, I don't care. So we're going to go down this time where we're going to see the um, bro with the bro with the uh, blacksmith. That's the one. Uh, so you can ask him about the Inquisitor and the Golem, which we will do. And then we will also press down to access his workbench. He is a miserable sin, which are all blacksmiths like this. Nah, this is old times. New timey blacksmith are happy people. So this is where we can upgrade our guns, our knives and our devices. Um, but we do actually need specific items, which we will find in the game, as well as obviously a little bit of currency. Um, so obviously at the minute we can't have anything to upgrade our gun. So what we'll need to do is press the left bumper in order to go to our device. And what you'll do is just upgrade the device with everything so we can get the device fully working as a device device. Good. Let's get to work. Good. Let's get to work. After you found them, got them working with the old little thin mustache pencil guy, we will get the now we can work. Achievement there for fully unlocking the conundrum device. That's what it's called. The the corny the conundrum device. Right, so, uh, we can just continue heading to the right. And then up we go, Saint Mr. Mo. You want to stop calling me Mr. Mo? No. So, uh, we will head to the left. Again, if you've got enough ink, if you want to have a little look, you can um, get another little cheeky tattoo going, boys. Upgrade yourself, girl. That much being called. This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 Damn it hurts, but I feel like I want more. This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 Don't keep... 
That's how magic uh, Benedict Fox is. After all those tattoos, he doesn't need any creams, he doesn't need nothing, he just heals on his own. Awesome stuff. So heading uh, out to the right now into the garden area, interact with your uh, deceased grandmother. We're going to have to do a little that little slidey section again, but this time we're going to make a double jump over to the right. There we go, because there is an item up here which we are going to need. And in fact, it's the puzzle that we're going to be doing first. So again, like I said, now... You've got um, all four of the rings in. All you've got to do is just follow on screen, input the symbols that I do, and then uh, just press and hold the A button to send the wave. If you get it wrong, it just flashes up. Um, you can't actually get... Like, it doesn't punish you if you do get it wrong. It just flashes, and then you can't continue. So, you know, get the symbols right, and then we can continue. So as you can see, I did get it wrong there for, uh, for once. Um, well, I say for once. I got it wrong a lot, but I'm only showing you once just to see what it looks like. So, um, ah, Jesus, that was a huge-ass bite. So we are actually going to slide down all the way to the bottom this time. Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the good things. That, another good thing about this game is if you do end up dying for whatever particular reason, uh, checkpoints are very generous. So, now we have gotten out of the monster mash. I see the mash. Uh, all we're doing is continuing on to the right as normal, um, instead of, you know, falling and failing like I seem to do at every twist and turn. Sorry. Damn it again! So yes, the double jump seems to be a little bit of a problem sometimes. A little sticky. Uh, well, welcome to the teleporter machine. Here we are then at the teleporter Magota. And then we're going to come out into this place of... Uh, right by the next memoirs record. Memoirs number two. So, uh, yeah, so pick it up, and then we will play it a little bit later on. But that is the only thing that we need in this kind of beautiful-looking room, in all fairness. Then let's teleport our buns out of here, huns. So that's another little puzzle that we've done. Um, again, obviously, like I said, you can always auto-skip it if you want. Interact with the gate here to go through to the left. Jump up and jump up again. Uh, this bit can be slightly confusing. We need to jump to the right. 
interact with this little lever boy. Oh, little lever boy, there we go. I don't recall the limbo. No, but we are going to. This is a chaotic limbo. This is what we're in, bro. Aha, you missed. And now you die. Right, since those two are now uh, deceased, like little pasty boys, uh, heading up, and we can drop back down. This time we can head to the left, dropping down. Another couple of enemies that we're going to uh, smash here. If you wanted to, um, with if there's any enemies below you, what you can do is use your massive smash and jump trick. Uh, so press, so jump and then press the right trigger to smash it down. Uh, quickly jump over here and then jump over to the right hand side. Now, for whatever particular reason, I there was a couple of times I actually missed it, but I had to quit the game and come back into it because I couldn't get back up for some reason. Um, but over here on the right is the Siamese Twins Heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. It's a bloody little heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. Right, now we can just drop down and we're gonna jump our way up to the right. And be aware of some smiling enemies. So once we jump back up here, we need to head to the left, but they are, we need to be quick because they will just collapse under our leggy legs. Uh, dropping down anyway. So this bit's all nice. Couple of tentacles chilling. What's going on here, guys? Huh? What's, uh, what's happening? So what we're going to do, we're going to jump up to the left. We're actually going to find a broken memoirs record now. So head, head over what looks like a shipwreck and just to the right of us. La la is the broken memoirs record. So let's take that again. I think we need to find four of these in order to make a full record. So I don't know who's losing these and all the limbos, but well, I guess it's always our job to find it, isn't it? So we're jumping up here to the right. We're going to grab our first tarot card called the fool which thankfully doesn't have my face on it. <laughs> After that, we can just continue jumping up to the left, killing some enemies, and then we're pretty much, I believe, done with the area. So we'll drop down, we'll drop down again, then we are going to interact with this lever and then we can jump up once again to the left. Now we didn't interact with it before for a very particular reason and the reason is because we couldn't get past but now we can. So uh, head to the left and ta-da! We'll slide down once, twice and then jump to the right here so quickly jump there we go and then we can continue on the slide of life. Kill one and get smashed by one enemy, and then kill one enemy, and go ahead and get the Signet Ring. Oh, it's the Signal of Fire. With the ring attached to it, apparently, or something. Anyway, continue on down. And, oh, look at that. Just, just as we need it there. We can secure the ink if you wanted to, um, but we are just cracking on, and we are doing another conundrum. So again, just follow uh, the symbols that I put on screen, and jobs are dandy fine, good.
Ta-da! And just like magic, the wall opens! Open for business, everyone. Not that there's much going on in these parts of the world, but still. She felt attacked. She felt betrayed. And maybe even... So, we go to the right. We're going to kill another couple of enemies and get a letter on the floor, which has just been crumpled up. In this Ladial's Memorials. There it is. Again, sorry, um, uh, Benham. Uh, this is the letter of request denial. I'm sorry you can't come in for a face changing operation because you're already fine as hell. Uh, right, kill once again. Ah ha! Stupid thing went into the wall. <laughs> and then drop down and do the normals. So after swinging past the chandeliers of death, we're going to jump up, we're going to jump up again, and then we're going to jump up to the right. Now, again, this jump personally did take me a couple of tries to do. You kind of need to give yourself quite a bit of momentum and then do the whole double jump thing. Jump once and do the last double jump at the sort of last second, if that makes sense. But anyway, we will get tarot card the lovers. Oh yeah, right there, and then we can continue on. So once we drop down, we're going to continue dropping down. It's going to be snowy. It's going to be damn cold. You've only got a little detective suit on. Ah, uh, he looks like a little detective. Uh, but we are going to be coming up to an item with the snow globe. And then I do believe that we are coming up to another boss. But it's not a boss. It is a... Um... It's not a boss that we fight, it's a boss that we've got to run away from. So this is a platforming section where we've got to try and not die. Now there's a couple of these throughout the rest of the game. Um, but they're not too long. So, you know, like this one personally, I died uh, about three times on this one. But like I said, it's not too long once you know what's coming up. Here it is, loneliness. Loneliness is an ugly monster. So jump, jump, parry with the right button, with the RB, and then jump, jump. Jump, jump over this one, jump over this one, parry, P jump, 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 jump again, jump, jump, and then jump, parry, and then jump, jump again, double jump, parry, J parry, And that's it. That's it. So that is that one done. You now will get the achievement for defeating the loneliness. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can just crack on. Yeah. Um, but we defeated the loneliness by running away from it. So yeah, sometimes I think the only one that really caught me out there as we killed these two enemies was the... Um, it was right at the very end there where the rock came flying towards you very quickly. That's the one that caught me out a couple of times. But um, yeah. That's not too bad. Not too long, these are not. So, kill again. And again, be onwards and upwards. Damn. I need a more powerful light source to pierce through this kind of darkness. Perhaps your father had a device for such circumstances, Benedict. 
All right, you can either jump up here, or if it's easier, just press up on the D-pad, which it will be. We are going to jump to the left, kill another enemy, and open up another anger point. And after you've sliced and diced your way with the little pig noise right there, make sure to grab the Universal Vibrator. Or the Universe Vibration Metronome, of course, is its uh, proper, <laughs> proper meaning. So there you go, if you are... We're going to open the door as well, just for a shortcut, but if you are going on websites like and Summers and stuff, uh, yes, it's called the Universe Vibration Metronome. So, to the right, this is a big, fat, giant, chunky spider. These are ones that people see in their nightmares, but Australians see on the daily. Uh, so, we're just going to keep killing him. Um, and obviously, he spits out some of those flying little douches. <laughs> so, just uh, go ahead, smash him up. <laughs> you are no match for my one-hit kill and my invincibility. <laughs> right, we will drop straight down. And all we've done here is just unlock a new area. For this point, there's nothing of any significance to the right, so we will just continue heading back to the left. So, back to the chill zone now, and first of all, we're going to head to the right, and we're going to ask the tattoo lady her age. Now, if you're really old, you will come up with question uh, answers like this. You shouldn't ask me that, that's disgusting. How dare you ask a, la a lady her age? And then just get inked up while we're here. Might as well get inked up, get some new abilities for the road. Just going back to the age thing. Now, if you do know someone who's particularly angry about something or about someone or about someone's rights, i.e. this is the classic where somebody really doesn't like uh, gay people for whatever reason, even, even though it's got nothing, it doesn't harm them in any way. And it turns out when we go, are you sure you're not a little gay yourself there, bud? And then it turns out they're actually extra super gay, then hey, you know. So if you know anyone particularly angry about that, then uh, it's the same sort of thing. Living in denial. Hmm, I see you. Don't keep me waiting. So after the complete burningness that is the tattoos, we will head now to the left. We're going to interact with the gramophone and we're going to change the next record. We've got um, Memoir 2, so we're going to put Memoir 2 on. So now we can back out, we can just head to the left, there we go, and once again then, we will speak to Harry about the others, One hell of a mystery. and there's a little surprise waiting for you in the office to the left. Oh hello! Now uh, this part you can't skip or you can't move or anything, but then we will ask him about all the other stuff. It's mutual yet. Who are you exactly? Oh, excuse my behaviour. I'm Inquisitor Tomas de Fernandez. You can call me Thomas. I am, or rather, was, your father's friend. Oh, really? It might be surprising to you, but we used to work together on some things. Yeah. So, am I under arrest? If so, I'm afraid I will resist. <laughs> no, no. You are still being pursued, yes, but I'm here on private duty. Please, don't mind me. I'll find what I'm looking for and we'll be gone before you notice. Okay, so I'll get back to my case if you don't mind. Not at all. Let's talk some more later if we can. He is no ordinary man. We need to be careful, Benedict. 
Ah, uh, yes. They are very eager to get you. You are... Me? Oh, I am a very boring person. I... It seems you had a little tussle with Brother Demetrius. Very interesting bunch. So, yeah, no, we don't really care. Sorry, Mr. Inquisitor. We're going to drop down. We are going to go down. We're going to interact with the blacksmith. And since he is an Inquisitor, we've already been almost smashed up by one. You know he's going to be a not very nice man. So, you can try and talk to him about everything, but the weaponsmith just does not care. So, uh, we will obviously go in, and we're going to get some stuff going. We're going to get some upgrades going there. Um... I believe we can on one of these gun parts. There it is, the additional bullet. So we've got the second memoir's record. Um, even though it's playing upstairs, but still, he is going to sort us out with some additional bullets. So that one is upgraded. That's all good. You can have a look at the knife and have a little look around, see what you can craft. And we've got the snow globe, so that will upgrade our knife a little bit as well. Toidy mate. Right, so we've backed out of that. Uh, we can press the start button. We are going to find the uh, swamp platform, which is down and sort of to the left of life. Yeah, so down and sort of to the left-ish. Again, you can uh, zoom out by holding the right stick. But if you continue just going down and to the left, the swamp platform is around. So, tis a new area, make sure not to completely drown yourself in purple death ink, again, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah. so what you should be able to do now is uh, double jump with an extra jump. So you should be able now to now triple jump. So if you triple, so now, in fact, you put, I think we had this ability quite a bit earlier on, um, but you can do the triple jump now, which makes things a lot easier. So we're going to drop down, and we're going to kill some enemies. There we go. Look at them. Deader than a dead thing in Deadland. Um, and again, for any platforming sections, like I said, as we pick up the Ritual Obsidian Dagger. Um, but again, for any sort of just platforming sections or whatever, I won't be saying, a th um, I won't be saying much. Because it's j literally just a case of following along with the video. So after killing Broskis then, we are going to jump up to the right, do the triple jump of life now, and we're going to do the conundrum symbol once again. So again, just follow the signs, and then we will be able to get two symbols and get the hell on through.
And we're basically, that's a whole lot of work for a fountain pen we're going to pick up. Look at it. All of that work for a bloody fountain pen. We're going to inspect the paper as well, so you should grab two items right now. Ironic to use the pen that symbolised the start of his career to end. So after doing the symbol, we'll just continue to drop down and you're going to do the smash of life here. So remember to jump and press the right trigger to smash down. A couple of enemies to kill and then we're finally going to get past our first sphincter, our first turtle head. I'll call it a turtle head because it's a lot funnier that way. Uh, but what you need to do is effectively just stand in a particular position and just press and hold the right trigger and the left stick to the right. So you're sort of pulling the head out. Now this is definitely a Randy Marsh hot 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 moment. There is hot 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 hot. Oh. oh, oh, it's over. Thank God. By the way, there will be a flying enemy right there, so just be careful. And there may be a couple of enemies here, but not this time. Uh, but we are into a new area, so once we drop down and obviously head to the right, drop down again, and we will be back and forth here quite a few times as well. Hey Sharon, come look at this. Ow, oh, douchebag. What are you hitting me for, boy? <clears throat> anyway, after the shock of being drilled from the back, eh, no pun intended, get out your conundrum device and symbolize that symbol. So, whack a couple of enemies open, bam, even though he just bammed me first, but after you kill these then we're going to pick up another, um, oh look at that, three in one, oosh, so there we go, we're going to pick up the rat mask prototype. Training, and we discovered our gift. We were so young and innocent, Benedict. Yeah, it's a shame the rest of the world thought otherwise. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're just going to ignore these next set of enemies. They are the red broskies. Um, so we'll just go. <laughs> Goodbye. Jump over. Go to the left. There will be another enemy here. So just be careful. You can either jump or however you've been doing it. But kill them dead. And we are going to basically pull out another turtle head. So jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. And get down. Jump to the right and pull the sphincter out. Pull it out. Go on. Now sometimes it's... It was weird for me, but sometimes you've got to stand in a literal certain position, otherwise it just won't work, for whatever particular reason. Uh, but a couple of enemies, oh, Jesus. Yeah, a couple of enemies chilling out here. Once we're done, we'll go in. We can either auto-solve the golem, or we can just... Go ahead and place a couple of items down. That's all we got to do. So it's not too too bad. All we got to do is pick um, one of the positions there. As you can see on the left hand side is already lit up. So all you need to do is hold the A button and place whatever it is that we want. So first of all, we will go for the middle one and we will use the very middle, the middle for the middle. So place the middle for the middle. We'll go to the right one. And then we'll use the right one on the right one. And then finally, the left one on the left one. It works. Now, this is another important part here. If we go to the right and relive the memory, this is another cutscene. So again, make sure not to skip this. As you can see, it says skip right there again on the bottom right hand corner. So make sure not to skip. Just wait until it all plays out. Dangerous mixture. He looks so angry, so helpless. With no one by his side, he didn't know where to direct his anger. Then we can interact with it. We'll get ourselves another ritual page. Ew. There it is, so we'll take that one, thanking you very much, Ross. And now we can back out. As you can see, as long as it says back and not skip, we can now back out. But um, that one, I think <laughs> those little scenes will probably cause a lot of frustration for a lot of people there who may just think that it is not a cutscene when it actually is. It is part that might mess you up, so just be careful. Right, anyway, battle of fire, mate. In fact, no, not back to the foyer, because we're going to the cellar anchor in Marie's Limbo. So if you were wondering why it's not on James's, it's because it's on Marie's. So cellar anchor to go. So head to the right, we will need to kill the Australian death spider once again. This time what we're going to do, uh, we are going to jump and make a double jump to the left. Double jump up, over the bridge and far away. And then jump over here as well. Now what you're going to see is another turtle head that needs pulling. And again, for whatever particular reason it takes, it took me quite a few tries. Because I kept falling, kept tripping and stalling. We're, ru we're running in circles again. Did, 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 did. Some 41 have broken up. That will mess with people's emotions. <laughs> Cause they're not in too deep anymore, oh bro. You like that then, didn't you? That was a class act. Right, we're going to drop down. Now, this is another one of those numeric doors. And because I hate these, personally anyway, I am just going to go ahead, back out, and I am just going to auto-skip this one. 
But hopefully from the first one earlier, you sort of know what to do if you are playing through and grabbing all the puzzles. Um, but good luck to you. I didn't like them, so I'm skipping them. Right, drop down, smashy smash. And uh, we've got a black flame candle that we're going to be picking up. It's uh, turtle head time. Now, I assume the relief that we are putting on these, uh, whatever this thing is, is just intense. So, instead of trying to kill us, how about helping us, huh? Anyway, once you've done that bit, head into the right to grab another tarot card called the Magician. Right, we're coming up to our second camp that we're going to clear out and do another wheel conundrum, so nip it off to the right. Droop, stoop, and ploop. But we will just go ahead and grab the rat mask first before we finish off the wheel. Uh, check if there's any more enemies. I don't think there is. So there should only be a couple. Uh, but we will grab this rat mask and then we will do the wheel conundrum, which obviously is the whole outer ring puzzle and stuff like that. So, again, depending on what you want to do, you can either... I think there was another enemy. No, there wasn't another enemy. So, again, you can either just copy what I do or auto-skip this one. Now, before heading up, what we're going to do, we're just going to head to the right. We're going to kill an enemy just to open up an anchor point. This one, I believe, can be quite easily missable, actually. And remember, we've got an achievement for unlocking all anchor points, which is why we're opening up the anchor point here, so we don't forget it later on. And now we can continue to the left and the up and the let's go. Right, coming up to the right here. Ooh, ooh, get away, that's tickly. Ah, oh no, that's too tickly. Oof, jeez, get out of the water, man, it's not good. Jumping up, another couple of enemies here. <laughs> Just as we got our uh, pickle tickled by those tentacles. Not, not good, very slimy. Not good at all. And then continue on. So we're going to drop down into this new area. I say drop, we're going to smash our way down. We're going to kill this enemy. Um... Now, I'm just showing you on the left is an elevator, but don't go in it just yet. So do not go into this elevator yet. I'm just showing you that it is there, so we will come back to that a little bit later on. So for now, let's continue ons and ups. If it weren't for the circumstances, I'd risk... <laughs> Most serene sight, one can recognize the artistic soul. So after pulling out the Randy Marsh-esque turtle, uh, obviously kill, and what's going to happen, we're going to go to the left, we are going to do a double jump, up to this high platform, which takes me a couple of attempts, apparently. And then 
double jump up again and you'll find the tarot card, the next tarot card, which is the one which is the world. All you guys are my world. Love you. So after killing giant death spider, um, by the way, that love you, that sounded uh, cuter and a lot less creepy in my head. So I do apologize about that if you creeped out, which you probably are. Again, we are auto solving this numeric door because I can't be asked. So we uh, head to the right. And all we've done here then is just open up an anchor port. So we're not going to teleport. We are just um, getting the anchor point open. Now with this bit, what we need to do is just go up. Go to the right, and then we're going to triple jump up our way. Um, basically, the only thing that's over on the left is a new area to unlock, but we don't go there for any other purpose. So, kill broskies. We've got a, a chick with a gun. Eladia with a gun. Ew. Ah. And she hits you straight in the bowels. That's uh, not a good place to hit, I'm afraid, lady. Phew, that was fun. So after we've uh, jumped, smashed our way into places, killed some enemies, uh, a little scene's going to play here, but it doesn't matter. It's basically nothing. All we're doing is picking up the the envelope, or if you're a lot posher, the envelope. Because the envelope right there. I love the difference in people's accents. It's hilarious. So uh, we basically just now need to go back the way we came since we got the envelope. Jesus, that was a... Now, of course, normally we would pretty much perish with that one. Uh, but these bomb enemies are a son of a gun. Ow! <laughs> what a flip. Hell of a backflip. Straight in your head. <laughs>
So we ain't gonna win this time. Uh, what we need to do is jump over here, kill the thing that is red, redder than a red thing, and then we can actually kill these enemies. Right after we've helped this poor Randy Marsh, um, we will go to the left, go inside. We're going to relive the memory. Remember not to skip the cutscene. Wait until it says exit or back rather than skip. She used some sort of artifact to open the chest. Looks like a pin. That's it. She hid it in her hair. Hit right in the D-pad to go next. And this is where we're actually going to unlock the Kogai pin. So we can unlock some more doors and stuff and do more stuff. This is where she broke into pieces. She sought solace or a reprieve. From the horrors that beset her. But she didn't find any. He should have been there for her. Okay, guys, all right, mate, it's safe now. Get the hell out of it. Now, I know it's probably annoying that I keep repeating it as we go up. And then to the right is going to be a rattle we're going to pick up. I know it's annoying me saying, don't skip the cutscene, but... Apparently, if I don't say it enough, then uh, you may just accidentally do it, and then you will go, I'm sure I didn't. This game's broken, and then you think back and go, oh, <laughs> it was actually me. So now you've got to do the whole game again, just to not uh, skip any cutscenes. So let's not try and do that, is it? Grande idea. Right, now we've gone that, we are going to go to a teleporter and head back to the Zephoyer. Again, if you need any upgrades, go and get some upgrades. If you've got enough ink, you can get yourself tattooed if you want. But what we're doing is just heading all the way out to the right where we find our deceased grandmother. Now, make sure to choose a Kogai pin. So, make sure to choose the Kogai pin and not interact. Because if you interact with her, you're going straight back into a slidey limbo. Um, and then you'll just have to press start and fast travel back to the foyer. So we got the Kogai pin, now we can start doing some more stuff. So we're going to head up the stairs, actually, first of all, before we head anywhere else. Man, has it already been two hours? Well, time just flies by when you're going back and forth everywhere, doesn't it? And then what's going to happen now is a chest will appear. There it is. Hello. And we can... Again, up to you. You can either auto-solve it or you can have a look at it. But basically, it's just a couple of dialogue options on screen. Not dialogue options couple of buttons on screen it's kind of like a quick uh, quick time event more or less so you've just got to press the buttons as you can see that appeared on screen <laughs> screen very quickly and that'll open that up and with the actual kogai doors themselves if you're not quick enough he'll bite and you'll just have to uh, trade again so there we go you know so you can ask um tattooist about her transition or the transition sorry um <laughs> let's not go there huh? Uh, transition, translation even. Man, it is currently 4.50 in the morning as I'm, as I'm recording this. So my eye's not working fully. 
But basically, we're just asking everyone about the translation. And you can also go down and ask the weaponsmith as well if you want. But if you don't care, we do actually need to go up. So apologies about that. You're probably just like, oh, for God's sake, man, why didn't you just tell me to go up in the first place? So I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. But we do need to go up because we are going to do the one Kogai door here. So up we go. I do apologize about that. I'm sorry. Please don't hate the player. Hate the game. Actually, don't hate the game because it's not bad. Uh, again, you can either auto-solve it, but these are normally uh, generally easy enough. So AYXA. <gasps> oh, and what deliciousness do we have here? Do we have KFC? Do we have something delicious? We've got an organization photo and a pocket watch. So make sure to pick both of these up. He knew. He knew all along I was still alive. Um. um. Feeling abandoned. Just. Of course I'm feeling hollow. My daddy never loved me. Uh, so we're going to ask uh, Harry about this organization photo. And we're going to ask a couple of other people as well. Don't drag me into this. I barely knew the guy. And besides, I'd never do this to you. I can see you're eager to crack another case, kid. But don't you have more important things to do? No. I didn't ask a question yet. Nope. Don't care. Good. Let's get to work. Doable. Full of force. Nope. Haven't met the bloke. But he did set up an impressive workshop. Let's get to work. Good. Let's get to work. Good. Let's get to work. So there we go, then we should now have a couple more uh, upgrades there, one on our gun and another couple on our knife. Uh, what we're going to do, though, we're going to press start, we're going to head down, we need to find the bent bridge anchor once again. So it should be just down uh, pretty much straight in this little area here. There it is, the bent bridge anchor. This is where, by the way, we're going to get our first achievement for unlocking a Kogai door. So again, it'll be um, any random ones. Again, if you take too long, he'll be really annoyed and... Well, it looks more like gingivitis rather than teeth, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's, this will finally get you another achievement. I'm a locksmith and I'm a locksmith. There it is. Jeez. Man, I hate it when they take long to... Ooh, stop tickling the pickle, boy. Yeah.
Uh, so we've done a little bit of dodging, modging, codging, and flodging. As soon as we've killed these enemies, there's a bit of crystallized blood for us to pick up right there. Which is always nice. Private investigator is he is consumed by suspicion. The trust he once had is deteriorating. He is looking for answers. And when we jump up here, then there is big guy with big club arms, and we're going to get the flashlight. Now, if you remember a little bit earlier on, we seen some like. Tentacles or something popping out of a wall. This is the flashlight. We need to get through it Or get through them because there's quite a few of these uh, these little sections in the game not too bad Personally a little bit of a pain in the old uh, sort of uh, Pickle snatch, but now yeah, we'll come to it when we get there so we can open up the door and just continue onwards Damn, sorry, Ginger Fighters, man. Right, be careful, there's a couple of enemies that will appear in just a second. Big club arms, there he is. And then after doing some wrestle moves on him, as you can see right here, there is an act of capit capitulation. Capitulation. So obviously pick that up and then away we go. So now if we head to the left as well, there is a chess puzzle we can do. Normally, again, these are quite very easy so it's not so bad or you could just auto skip it again um but you can open up your diary and sort of have a look but i'll tell you which ones to pick make sure to pick the uh the first one is going to be there's uh, only d or g that we can pick first so we're going to pick up oh sorry and h apparently so we are going to pick up h and then you just need to move him to the top square so the uh sort of brighter one there so make sure to move that one and then the final one we are going to move um we are going to move uh the letter d i believe yes the letter d and then put it all the way to the top right hand corner and that solves that puzzle very easy if you don't know chess then it's very difficult but um you know that obviously took me a few tries to try and figure out what's going on because <laughs> i don't know chess at all kudos to anyone who does know and play a lot of chess by the way because Man, that's hard. That's some hard thinking. Hello? <laughs> that is nice brain. What are you looking at, bruh? Oh, right, I see you want to smash me down. Okay, I get it now. It's not a funny joke, man. First circle projects for the organization right so just before heading to the right up here if we take a double jump to the left which you will see me do in just a moment so I do apologize but there is a piano a pianists page that we need to grab so don't jump up here just yet drop down there we go and now we'll take a big massive ooh, ooh. and they could see there it is so you can see it the 
pianist's page, the piano page. And now we can continue on to the right. And by right, I mean we're going to drop down and head to the left. So that's that, That's what I meant by right, of course. It's, it's this autocorrect, man. It's not good for real life. Anyway, uh, we are... Again, you can secure the ink if you want, but what we're actually going to do now is just head to the Limbo Corridor. So if you can't see it on James's Limbo there, press the right trigger and go to the next one, but it's actually on James's, not on Marie's, so what the hell am I talking about? Limbo Corridor, anyway, please. So another Kogai door to unlock. Now this is where the sort of back and forth really comes into it because the more items and stuff that you unlock, the more obviously places we can go. So we have to go back to places we've been originally, even if it's really early in the game. Um, also, you can actually press down on the D-pad now. So um, as we pick up another tarot card here, the Hanged Manid. Uh, but yeah, you can slow enemies down, not the dogs, but the ones that are taller than you. Or the same size. Basically, if you just press down on the D-pad, it'll you'll basically um, chuck a bag of wind at them. So it kind of looks like a fart, and that'll slow them down. That's for another achievement. So this is the flashlight tentacle area. So if you uh, remain caked in darkness, as you can see, all the little tentacles are around you. Um, obviously, the longer you have to sort of um, flick it back now and again, because they will try and devour you here from the left-hand side, as you can see. Um, but obviously we uh, what we need to get is the poster with check so we make sure we have to make sure to grab that one um, Now if you stay in this light, that's basically that helps your flashlight get some more light if you point your flashlight at it um, Obviously because what will happen is the flashlight will go dim and we will die Now there is an actual way out of there, but it's okay because even if you die like I did just here you can still continue on your merry way from this point. So as soon as you get that poster with check, you can just die and then we can just drop back out, head to the left and continue onwards. All right, so again, if you press down on the D-pad, you'll get a little piece of wind thrown at him and that'll get to you the Can't Catch Me achievement for slowing an enemy down. So there we go, look. Fly in now, mate. Fly in, fly in, fly in, fly in. Now, as for that whole flashlight tentacle section, um, there's only one place where we actually have to complete it. The rest, you can just die after getting your uh, item, whichever item that particularly may be. So, again, apologize if I didn't explain it very well, but basically what you need to do as you walk in, you need to look behind you and also continue forward because the tentacles can come up from behind and kill you lots. So, yes. So that is pretty much the main sort of part of that area. But we've dropped down. We're going to uh, solve this Kogai door once again. Obviously, that's going to lighten up the way for us and grab us another Mother's Embrace, which we haven't got since the beginning of the game. There only appears to be one teensy tiny little piece. This time I head back to the foyer. So again, we can go and get ourselves inked up. We should have quite a bit of ink saved up, so... Oh, beautiful canvas. <laughs> Nobody's called me that before, but I'll take it. This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 Don't keep me waiting. All right. All right. It 
was me. What do you want? So after speaking with Harry or whatever, um, we will now do some upgrading. We've got quite a lot of money. So we are going to get a, an achievement here for fully upgrading one item. Again, with the medicine, you might as well just crack on with it now because we've got more than enough money. The My Favourite Things achievement should unlock. Do the same here with the stone plate device. And... I'm pretty sure I do it with the smoke bomb as well. Yes, I do. So I backed out for some particular reason. Um, but you can also go ahead and... Again, might as well, We've since we've got tons of mono. And also, we can upgrade the flashlight and the uh, pin as well. I, I believe it's the pin. It is the Kogai pin, but we don't have enough to unlock that one just yet. So, well, we'll come back. We've got, we've got mostly done. All good. All good. Uh, but we do have a new ability called the Cannonball, which... Um, we are going to speak to the Inquisitor, who is definitely not evil at all. Um, but the cannonball, we can basically knock an, uh, we can knock enemies down with a slide by pressing the B button, which is just really, really cool and awesome. You're a peculiar predicament. Anyway, we're going to interact with old Pappy, who seems to be in pretty good condition for someone who died ages ago. Are you still talking to me? And let's practice our football slide tackle. Eh? Press the B button to go into an enemy as you're running towards them. One, you will knock them down and stun them for a few seconds. And the second one, you'll get the cannonball achievement as well. So that is mighty fine. That is definitely, that makes things a lot more fun and a lot easier as well. As if we weren't uh, playing on basically easy mode anyway, but still. Shut up. I don't want to talk about it. As you wish, Benedict. So well, uh, after all that delicious bit of fun there with killing the enemies, getting rid of a camp and doing a couple of puzzles, we are now off to the Golem Bio um, 
uh, you know, this one, the Gollum Bayum Anchor. That's what I was after. Mouchmo, um, thank you for hitting me, but what we need to do is actually get the uh, Koga dog going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you do get an achievement for opening a seven element Kogai door, which is not that one because that one's six. But this is another little flashlight section. So like I said earlier, with the balls of light, what you need to do is point your flashlight at it to basically recharge the flashlight, these balls of light. And remember when they start getting too close to you at the back, make sure to just put your flashlight on them so they all bagger off. But we're going to jump up, jump up to the right. Uh, just point your flashlight there at the flashlight if you want to get it all um, charged up. Otherwise, we'll get the ritual book with a couple of missing piages. Right, so what we can do now is we will continue down. And then what we need to do from here is actually go to the left. So for some reason, I'm going to the right. But what we actually do need to do is go to the left. But basically, if you want to save yourself a minute, I end up pretty much just dying here anyway. So if you want, just let the darkness devour you. So you will be at the same point that I am. Hello again, everybody. So sorry that took a minute, um, but hopefully, as long as you just died where I did, we've got the item that we needed, so you're not actually missing any other items. So that's all good. So from here, we can just continue onwards to the uh, righticles, because there ain't nothing on the left. <laughs> Next up, we are going to go through the teleporter. This time we're going to go through to the swamp platform, which is just a bit off to the right on the map here. So when we uh, just get past this bit, we're going to drop down and there's going to be, I believe, three parts of the decryption code here. So they're all going to be on this sort of main path. So just go ahead and pick up all three slash four, whichever particular one it is, all in close proximity as well, which always helps. It's always nice.
location with no exits and no signal. They were dead on arrival. This could have been us. Don't worry. Nothing's lost yet. We might still get the chance to die here, Benedict. So I do apologise here, We this is where we got the snow globe earlier, so I did take a little bit of a wrong turn. So my apologies about that, but we are going through another flashlight session in just a mo. Your enthusiasm. Control yourself, Benedict. Luckily for us this time then, this is a nice and easy one. We don't have to worry about grabbing it. Item, so get through the old tentacles. Uh, so just continue to the left, and then to the right. Drop down, continue right, and there we go, there's the exit. So that's nice. Always can't, you can't beat a nice easy one. And I am here for you with that. And welly welly, look here, you some gun. This is the book of languages. This is what uh, the old dude, Inquisitor Thomas, is after, and it's what we're after as well. But we are out, we are actually coming up to another boss part now where we've got to run away. So just jump up. I jump. And jump, drop down, go to the, uh, continue on to the right, drop down, drop down again, but continue left, and then to the right here, jump, jump, jump up, continue on to the right, jump up and then jump to the left, jump up to the right, and then continue, run, run, forest! We need to just jump over to the right, so uh, that bit can be a little bit, uh, that can confuse you. Jump up. It doesn't matter if you get up or down on this part, by the way. You'll end up on the same path, so then you can just slide down, slide down, continue going downwards. And eventually, we will just drop down back to the mansion area. And then big cutscene will happen. And, by the way, Benedict Fox's scream is always hilarious. Meow. Sounds like he's being flicked in the beanbag. Meow. Give... It back! Stop it! Give it back! I can't, I can't take it anymore. What? what happened? The explosion. Are you all right? Okay, I get it. I'm sorry for my outburst. We were just so close when he took the book. Talk to me, please. Benedict? Oh, now he wants to talk. Benedict? What makes you think I want to talk to you? Uh, don't be childish. I think we might be stuck. I have lost the connection to my body. I can't wake up. Where are you? 
I think I'm on a parallel path. Do you see the chapel to the east? At the top. Meet me there. Alright. So this is another fun part then. So what we have to do, we have to basically get our stuff back. And this uh, goes in a bit of a continuous loop. So we don't have a knife, we don't have anything, we don't even have our sanity, which we've lost a while ago. Or our double jump ability either. So again, this is more, once again, of just a sort of following along platforming section until we get a couple of our things back. Here is one of our things, our little bayonetta. The content of this book and the ritual you collected is of great importance to the Order. I could have given it to you after I finished. Some things cannot wait. Sure. So this is our first uh, seven element Kogai door. Kogai. So again, you can do it legit, or even if you auto solve it, you will still get the Master Garrett achievement. Ah, oh, yes, it feels so goddamn good. Okay, I'm almost there. What's next? We have to figure out why we're stuck. I assume you are too. Yeah, I think I might have lost the connection to my companion. Hmm. It looked like he collided with the edge of the limbo. I bet he could show us how to get out of here. Oh, then I think we need to wake him up. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Companion, we need you right now. Our friend Benedict really needs... So this is going to happen a few times then. We are basically, once again, in this sort of memory loop. That every time we get there, he kills us, and then we end up back in the same part. So this time we're heading to the left, and we're just going to get some more of our stuff. Benedict. Thomas, what the hell did you do? Benedict, are you all right? No, I'm not. You tried to... You killed me. No, I assure you I had nothing to do with the explosion. Yes, but we talked already. We met, and... And you attacked me! What? Why would I do that? Uh, I d don't know. To wake up my companion, I guess? To break out of this loop? Loop? Interesting. Do you see the- Chapel to the east, at the top? Yeah. You want to kill me again? I'll be there. But this time I'll be ready. I understand. Oh my god, Double Jumper, how I have missed you! I could really use your help. I'm really sorry about before. I'll fix it. I'll get you back. So when we find Tomash here, he will end up crushing you with a rock. There's no point fighting him because he will just not die at all. Um, and he will just crush you with a rock. So once that happens, we're going to go back to the beginning of this section again. And that is a pretty big rock. And if you don't think he's evil now, well, uh, well, you must be the evil person yourself. Eek. Damn. I need my gun. Benedict? Benedict, are you all right? Why does the Order need the ritual? Benedict, I'm glad you're all right. We can talk at the... The chapel to the east at the top. Sure. Now answer the question. Let's talk face I'm to... I'm not moving until you...
I'm afraid I might have told you to. I cannot let you go now. I thought as much. Benedict? Benedict, are you all right? That portal you want to open, where does it lead to? What? How did you? We're stuck in a loop. We talk, we fight, we talk, we fight. Last time you told me about the portal, then you killed me again. Is this some kind of trick? No tricks, just honest conversation. You said you're a man of little faith. Enough! Don't you dare talk to me like that! I guess that's not the angle. Ah, it's nice to get stuff back in your pockets, isn't it? It makes you feel giddy inside. Uh, but we are going to be coming up to a conundrum puzzle since we've got our device back. Again, up to you. You can just auto-solve it if you want, if you just want to get through it a little bit quicker. So we're going to get Flashy back. Here's a flashlight, and we're going straight in for another tentacle door. Yes, these kind of puzzles are grande. All right, drop down. Make sure that you flashlight your flashlight. Grab the tarot card, the Empress, before moving on. So again, even if you die and you've picked something up there, it will stay collected, which is always nice. Uh, continue on to the right, jump up. Uh, again, obviously, make sure to just look at the uh, opposite side so the uh, bros don't kill you. But jumping up will get us out of it anyway. Yeah, could have just saved you all the hassle and just tell you to get crushed by a rock. But I thought I would flex my wings and my guttons, but uh, and my gut apparently, and it didn't seem to work. So I believe now this is the last time that we just got to do a little bit of this platforming, and then we uh, should be good to go, getting out the hell out of this loop. Last time you told me about the portal, then you killed me again. So, yet another little flashlighty annoying section. Um, so, just continue on to the left. Again, obviously making sure that you flashlight your your tentacle darknessnessnessness. Uh, obviously, point your flashlight here at the light to give it a little bit of a recharge. Oh, there it is, delicious. Continue on to the left, and then drop down. 
Again, make sure to get some flashlighty light light for your flashy. And then up we go, and to the left is the Companion's Grasp. So that is like the triple jump now, I believe. Oh, look at that, our old pal Venom, who's not actually Venom. Venom's cousin, Denim. Um, <laughs> we He's alive, sort of, but yeah. So continue just on back to the right. Continue going to the right as well on the bottom section, not the top this time. Again, obviously get some more flashlight for Flashy. And just continue on, and this is the exit. Hooray! You made it. Oh, thank God, there is no death this time. Only the Book of Languages, which she has helped us out with. So, it's not a change of heart, because nobody willingly just gives up something as powerful as the Book of Languages. Whatever you want to learn, it's in that book. So back in the foyer we go to get some more tattoos. I'm all free of charge as well, which is pretty banging. Glad you came uh, so, yep, just whichever one that you particularly prefer. We've already got three left to grab. And again, with all the puzzles remaining in the game, you should you, we, we will have plenty enough ink in order to get them all anyway. This one. Good choice, my dear. Don't keep me waiting. I can see you have paid a heavy price for it. 
Give me a moment and I'll translate it for you. So you need to actually ask the tattoos there about the translation. Um, and the phone is in the library. So that's why I'm looking a little confused because the library is the place with all the books in it, remember, of course. The library. So there it is, just in the forefront of the screen there for picking up. Again, make sure not to skip the cutscene, otherwise you will be super pissed I've experienced something odd. I just woke up from the longest journey to the limbo I've ever made. It feels like a distant dream now. And yet the memories are still so vivid in my mind. I wonder if it was all just a figment of my imagination, a trick of the mind. But then I see the scars on my hands and I feel that it was real and that you shared this experience with me. Do you remember the portal that we spoke of? The one that led to the realm beyond? I know that all of this must sound like the ravings of a madman, but I implore you, Benedict, do not dismiss it out of hand. We have seen things that others would call impossible, and I truly believe that there is more to this world than we can ever hope to understand. I know not what lies beyond that portal, but I am willing to risk everything to find out. And since we found the limbo, we found the first circle of hell, then I know it sounds crazy, but I cannot shake the feeling that it might lead to something truly wondrous. Perhaps even... Heaven. You want to open a portal to heaven? Indeed. I feel we are close. Closer than ever. Keep the book for now. Use it. Continue on your path, and I have a feeling we will meet again. In the meantime, I have one last piece of the puzzle to take care of. Farewell. Well, now stuff's really hitting the fan. It's hitting the fan, as it were. All right, so what we're going to do from here, we're going to head to the right and we're going to ask the tattooist lady about the ritual. And it's not going to be the news that we all expected to hear. Damn. I'm afraid the news I have for you is grim. This ritual is old, chaotic, evil. It's what made us, us. Then... It surprises me that you two are even alive. What's worse, I don't see a way to undo it. But this would mean that... We will perish, no matter what. I'm so sorry, my dear. All that effort? All of it was for nothing then? No, not for nothing. I... I know this is not what you want to hear right now. But there is still something worth fighting for. As you know, demons interest me. And I sense there is still one worth saving. A young one. A pure one. It was brought here, born out of one of the most terrible of emotions. False hope. It's here somewhere. I can see it taking shelter in the house. Fearing for its life. Felt something, but its true nature eluded my comprehension. Wait, that's why you stayed. Were you even in need of saving? Yes, and no, fate has brought you to me. Bullshit. First Thomas used me, and now you're trying to use me too. Yes, I need you. I observed this Inquisitor, Thomas, when he was here. I think he wants to be the first to make contact with the pure being. Why? I don't know. But he is not to be trusted. No, he is not. Then, I need you even more, please, my dear. I know your life is slipping through your fingers, but you cannot do anything to remedy it. There is, however, a life you can save. It's spawned from your father's feelings. In a twisted way, it could be considered kin. I don't know. What could we do? Whenever I try to concentrate on it, I am drowned in the remnants of feelings in this house and the deaths of its inhabitants. 
It might be wise to retrace their steps to find their ends. I have no future, whether with you by my side or not. We are doomed. We may be doomed, but we are doomed together, Benedict. Yeah. Let's go. One last case. I could tell by the look in your face that was the great news that I was hoping for. <laughs> yes and no. So, three hours in, roughly about an hour and 25 minutes left. Oh, about an hour and 20. So, first of all, we're going to head to the right, and we are trying to find, where is it, the Cellar Anchor again. So, that's just over to the right. So, into the Cellar Anchor we go. And here we go then, straight in with it, into the darkness. Uh. Right then, so we do actually get past this section. So again, just be careful what we're doing, we're just heading down. We're going to jump up to the left first of all. Again, make sure to get rid of the darkness from behind. In fact, no, we are, in fact, yes we are, sorry, we're double jumping up to the left, which is what we need to do. Uh, double jump over to the left, uh, or up to the left again. And we're going to get some lovely flashy flashlight for our flashlight. So drop down. And again, there's some more flash for your flashlight. Drop down again. So you're on the floor. And you can open up the door. That is basically just a little shortcut if needed. Um, but head to the left. Jump up. Continue on. On and on and on. It's weird because you've got to kind of be quick. But you kind of got to take your time with it as well. It's a... Bit of a pain, these sections. Not my most favourite one of uh, the entire of the game, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, but to just continue on then. Continue on to the right. Obviously getting rid of the darkness from behind that lurks underneath. Get your flashlight looking up at that. And then just drop down and we have finished it anyway. Oh, look at that. Smash right in the back. Right up the gooch gag. The gooch bag. And we've opened up another anchor point, so kill, kill, my friends. So we just continue heading to the left. There's not as many um, items to pick up as there were earlier in the game, so that's always nice. But if we d make a triple jump here, triple jump and not bash your head in, we will get the Owl's Rifle. Wow, it's a, it's a nice looking rifle. Looks all rifly and stuff. And again, after killing Broski with his button here, <laughs> don't go to the right. We are going to head to the left first of all, make a little jump up, and grab the Tower Tarot card. Anybody believe in all that stuff where they go, oh, you're going to be major rich in the future, while we all still sit here, poor as hell? Yay! We're probably poor as hell because we're spending all our money on video games, but still, worth it! It's funny when I said a little earlier on, oh, there's not many items uh, left now. We've collected the majority of them. We're actually going for another one right now. So they're all coming back nice and thick and fast. 
This time it's the experimental cap, which we are going to grab. So make sure to get this one. Oh, mate, watch this now. This is a hell of a smash, this one. Straight from behind. Boosh! Straight in the ink. That is an actual hilarious way to die. I laughed, and I hope everyone had a laugh at my expense as well. Oh, damn it! And I hope everyone had a laugh twice at my expense, as it turns out. So another item to collect. So after we have killed the couple of enemies here, take a double jump to the left, and there is the chariot, the tarot card of chariotness. Oh, 
And finally, if you remember from earlier, we're coming up to another Inquisition Zone, where it's that red demon. Red demon, fiery hell demon. Yes, that broski. So what we need to do is hit his balls until he um, passes out, which sounds about right, actually. So we'll just drop straight down. As you can see, the sparks are flying above us. That's where we're going to go first. So jump up and to the left. And just uh, give his little uh, golden beanbag a bit of a flick right there. That'll be the first one. We can now jump over him and head to the right. Run, rabbit, run! And then jump up. Jump up again. We're going to jump up to the left. You can already see the sparks from above. Please set me on fire. And do it. Flick his balls. Ah, have that up your ball bag, scent. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, he sucked me in now, so that's, uh, we, mm, that ain't going well. Right, there is one more that we need to grab. If you could stop hitting me for just a minute. Thank you, sir. Let's drop down. Eh, uh -huh, you missed. Miss me, miss me, now you gotta kiss me. Oh, man, the offended brigade will be right out on that song now, wouldn't it? Uh, so we drop down, head to the right. The third ball is just underneath, so drop down to the left and slam, slam, kablam, kablam. There we go. You escaped from the Inquisition Zone, so we've just got one more left to do. Now that we have killed and there's no fiery demon of death after us, we can now get the wax stamp from Genevieve. Genevieve. Right, so back in the foyer for another time. We're now going to get uh, fully upgrade all the items. So head to the left, head into Harry Winkler's shop. And obviously the only thing that we should have left by now, if you've been following along, is the Kogai pin or whatever it is that you need to upgrade. So whatever it is that you need to upgrade, upgrade it. You sh again, you should have plenty of money left now by now. By now, by left, by now. And that'll get us the tools of the trade achievement. Hoorah! Oh no, he's gone. Well, yeah, he tried to kill us about five or six times, bro. Of course he's gone. So, we're going down this time. We're going to talk to the um, weaponsmith, and we're just going to upgrade a couple of our guns and stuff. Hey, mm. we're going to need some more firepower then. Did you make this? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. You're asking because... Just making sure we're on the same side. I'll be on your side till I'm not. You and me, we ain't playing the same game. Take it or leave it. Good. Let's get to work. Good. 
Let's get to work. So once you've upgraded everything that you can and everything is done, we're going to leave the miserable git to himself and we're going to find the lobby entrance. So head down and to the right, continue on there. And the lobby entrance is just at the top. There it is. Uh, limbo entrance, sorry, not lobby entrance. That's it. I'm losing. <laughs> my brain's pouring out my skull right now. Not much to pour out, but you know what I mean? Now this is a, another first time puzzle, again you can just auto solve this if you want, but it's generally not too bad. So we just need to choose three uh, specific cars. When the sun peaks, the inertia grows into stagnation. That's, well that's just fantastic. Uh, so first card we're going to choose then is the one with the naked lady, lady on it, the world. We're going to rotate it so that she is upside down and place it in the top one. Um, it should automatically be placed whichever card you choose. So then we're going to choose the Empress and then we're going to uh, leave it as that. And finally, we are going to choose the Tower and we will rotate it, place it down. And that should be the first one done. So now we can just hold and hold A to apply. There we go. Doors open. Let's get in.
another cheeky little tarot card to do. Right, so we are going to choose the uh, Empress again, first of all, and uh, just place her down normally. And then next up, we will be choosing the um, the uh, the world, the world, the naked lady, the world. Uh, rotate it, put it in. And then finally, what we are going to choose is the tower. Once again, we're going to rotate that, place it in. Lovely stuff. And once again, that should be good, so we can hold hold the A button to apply. That'll open up the way. And job done. Uh, we're not actually going in because we're going to head up the elevator first, though. So take a little cheeky look through the list there, we will get the Salon Anchor, so yeah, another couple of items you should have picked up, including the Death Tarot card and the Memoir record. So we are, effectively now, we've only got about an hour left, and a few of those is just mopping up a couple of achievements as well, so it ain't too bad, we're getting there, we're almost there now, we're almost there. <laughs>
Fox? Ben? Are you there? I won't respond. I didn't ask. But you wanted to. Maybe... You don't want to admit it to yourself. But she's as stuck in your head as I am. It's crowded as it is, even without her. Don't worry. I'll get rid of both of you soon. Yes, let's hope so. So coming up here then, we are going to find our final bit of the broken memoirs record. And I think we've only got one memoirs record left to find, I believe. But anyway, that's the rest of them, so we can take it all and glue it back together so it doesn't actually work, so we can't actually give it to anyone or sell it on. So, uh, yeah, it's a damn shame, really. Now, there's a little new element in this one. Once we have grabbed that, uh, you can rotate it to the left or the right. So what we're going to do is continue to rotate the uh, thing all the way over to the left until the moon is hitting number 12. Once that is looking like that, then you can press and hold the A button to apply and knob it on through, sir.
So drop down, obviously be careful, you know, you need to get on a cheeky little boat there. And we are coming up to, damn, mama, damn, son, you thick. Look at that. Damn, girl, you are looking like a mighty fine snack right now. Damn, the, the butt. Oh, yeah, that face. Oh, man, them droopy boys. Uh, just joking, of course. Of course I am. Please don't hate the player again. Hate the game. Which I'm not the game, by the way. Me. Mm. So another little new element that we've got in the game is we can actually shoot the inky purple waterfalls and to do, to do that what you need to do is press left on the d-pad which uh, gives you a sort of special bullet then aim and then aim shoot and fire you can't do it with a regular bullet you can only do it with the special bullet so again uh, press left on the d-pad now you do get am infinite ammo but it does as you can probably see in the top left hand corner it does have a cooldown time so be aware be very aware Now, the easiest way to jump over this next section, don't go straight into the waterfall, by the way, is if you use a smoke bomb, you can actually just jump over and kill these broskies from behind. Um, honestly, this part took me a while because I was trying to bait them over and it just wasn't working. And you can't just jump over either. So I eventually get to a point here where, boop, there she goes. She appears out of nowhere so we can kill her. But yes, the easiest thing is to just use a smoke bomb, jump over, and there is another item for us at the end when we... Ha <laughs> ha look at you, you lose. Ha <laughs> ha, you're in the purple link. You lose again. Don't. Ben, you don't understand. The order wants for us to send everyone after you. Just buy me some time, please. Just a little, and I'll be gone. I promise. I... You owe me. I do. I'll see what I can do. Ha! <laughs> 
Must be tired. Tired. Where, Papa? Papa? Your dad. Our dad. He's sleeping, resting. You should rest too. I'm gonna. Shit. I have no clue what I'm gonna do. Sleep. Now, after doing this little uh, puzzle right here, there is a piano puzzle that we can do. I don't think we're going to do it just yet. In fact, I believe we don't. No, uh, we don't, but um, in a little bit, we are going to be doing a piano puzzle. I'm going to be auto-skipping them, though, because, quite frankly, can't be asked. CBA for that, mate. Um... <laughs> In fact, you know what, effectively now the puzzles from here on out are pretty much 
pointless um, as we do another chess puzzle here. Um, not pointless. They still obviously we still need to get a few things, but I mean in terms of money and everything like that, you know we've done pretty much another majority of puzzles. So if you just want to auto solve everything, if you haven't been or if you have been or whatever, pretty much just worth auto solving the rest because uh, we don't need to do anything anything particular now. So coming up should finally be our final conundrum notes. So you'll get what the author had in mind as we drop down, smash down, drop down. Little scene's going to play, but uh, it's not an unskippable cutscene or skippable cutscene, so don't worry about that. But we, once we pick up this secret door page, la la, what the author had in mind was, um, I don't know, he wanted to be rich. I guess that's all he had in mind. But anyway, that's the achievement that we will Get so we don't have to worry about any more conundrum notes. So that's nice. So then, this next flashlighty session, this is one that we do have to get through. So if, even if you die, if you do die, you will start back at the beginning. We actually need to get through. So slide down, continue on to the left, jump over the purple inkily inkily bit. And again, flash flashlight there at the light above to get some or recharge any batteries. Um, what we can do is we can open up the Kogai door to the left right here. This is basically more or less just a shortcut way as well. Plus, we can obviously just nip straight through it if you want. Yeah, there we go. So drop down. And then on the floor, it, uh, just to the left of us there is a framed spider. So we, we definitely need to be picking this one up. Um, there was a bit of an edit right there, but there is a bit of purple ink to the right. Um, I do apologize about this bit. For some reason, the, I, I tried everything to get it working again, but for some reason, it's just the screen's gone really small, and I don't know what happened. So anyway, after you've got the light... Um, ah, stop killing me! Stop it! We are going to eventually try jumping up. Stop it! There we go. And then what we're going to do from here, we're going to turn back around and jump up. Very easily missable, that one. So jump up to the right again, drop down. Again, obviously making sure that uh, they're not after you and you're not going to die a munchy death. Jump up to the left, and we will be coming up to another bit of flashlight now. There it is, a bit of a reprieve. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so again, really, I don't have a clue what's happened with the screen here. Uh, it does go back to normal in just a couple of minutes, though, thankfully. So we drop down, drop down again, and we you can tell we're on the right path. There is another uh, flashlight torch. From here, we are just going to continue going down and to the left. The only thing that was up is just some more um, just some more flashlight rechargers. Really don't know what I'm doing there. Jump up again, continue on to the left, jump up. Uh, jump up to the... Um, left, and then eventually we're going to jump up to a right, like now, and then left again, and then up again, and finally we have made it. Big cutscene is going to happen here, and we have now got to do a little stealth section by getting past the spider. Again, just like the other chasey bosses, it's not too long at all, so it's not really, it's not really tricky either in all fairness. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, in one second, we're back to widescreen again. No idea what happened, so I do apologize about that. But obviously, the red marker is what you're trying not to get caught by. So it crouch down when you get to the middle one by pressing down on the left stick, of course. Then go over to the right, just stay here for another second. And then as soon as the old spider nips off to the left, you can continue on to the right. So after coughing your lungs up, a natural and unholy cough, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to make a jump to the right, and then we're just going to continue to the right. The spider is going to start chasing us again, um, but you just need to continue on to the right. Don't stop for anything and just climb up a couple of boxes and platforms. And this be the final bit then. So when the spider looks to the right, immediately go into the middle bit, wait here, and then just continue on. Again, uh, kind of got lucky with that one uh, in terms of times, but obviously you can just take your time right there uh, just so you don't get caught. So once we've slid down, um, in fact, this is it now. So this is how his daddy died by pure death, the C word, Australian spider. Be a torment beyond comprehension. This is why and this is where they finally got him. Damn, son, that is a pretty nasty way to go. Anyway, since he is gone, we will get the achievement Kill It With Fire for defeating the old spider. And now we are pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to start mopping up, um, grabbing the rest of the achievements and everything that we can, because there is a point of no return, and the game does actually tell you this is a point of no return. Do you have things to do, or do you want to just crack on? So obviously... Um, I will let you know when we're at that point. Now, I believe this is the final camp, as we get to the forgotten part of the anchor, so, again, smash open a few enemies, smash them with the nuggets, and then do the um, puzzle, again, auto-solve it or not, whichever one, it's completely up to you, it's your playthrough, you know? And then, yes, I do believe this is the final one, I may be wrong. <laughs> In fact, it is the final one, and I don't actually do this one. I'm just going to go ahead and auto-solve it, because, quite frankly, can't be asked. CBA for that, bro. But this is going to get us the No Trespassing achievement. Again, providing you be following along, you will now have cleared out all of the camps. So, congratulations. We're getting closer and closer. The less reasonable I am, Benedict. I wanted to talk to you before, but couldn't somehow. Oh, now this is embarrassing. I'm afraid I had to take charge of this operation since your friend proved to be a bit biased. Don't get 
get me wrong, I'm all about talking it over. And I do feel we will soon have a chance to catch up on a number of things. But right now, please focus on the tasks at hand. Son of a bitch. Hold on to your anger for later. We might need it, Benedict. So after we've nipped through the next tarot door, if we jump up to the left, we will find our fifth memoirs record. Hurrah! So this is where we're going to uh, do our own, uh, our first piano puzzle. But again, I tried, I uh, CBA trying to figure it out. So we just go ahead and auto solve it again. If you want to figure it out, that's great. Personally, I was just looking forward now to finishing this one. So I ended up just um, uh, auto solving this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so time for the mop up now, huh? Time for the mop up of life. Right, we're going to teleport. We're going to actually do now the final Inquisition zone. So what we need to do is head to the limbo corridor and just continue on with your platforming. Now again, I, I do I do apologize sort of about the lack of commentary in the sort of last hour or so on this one. Honestly, it's just this game and with the editing and sort of voice recording and everything has been <laughs> it's been quite the drain, both mentally and physically to be honest. It's been it's been a very tricky one. So um, I do apologize, but I hope that you've still found the guide uh, easy to follow and useful enough anyway. Uh, but again, I do apologize. Um, so just keep on sprinting down for now. And all we're going to do is just hit this golden ball. Just continue to keep hitting it until it smashes. And then we have finally defeated the Inquisitor. Finally defeated him. Now for me, uh, he actually got stuck behind one of the fences. So that's why you couldn't see him on screen. Aha! Loser! So, into the mansion for the very last time. Let's drink wine and eat some spine. No, wait, don't do that. Head up the steps, and we're going to go into the right-hand side, into the bedroom. Again, there is another piano puzzle, puzzle to solve. If thou and one wishes. But what this one wishes is to use the auto-solve. And <laughs> that's exactly what we're going to do. And then what we're going to do, we're going to press down on the D-pad there to go up. Even though you think you go up by going up on the D-pad, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, so, uh, interact with the head of the Victorian doll. Plus, there's another item on the right-hand side as well. So, thank you, Denim. Uh, Venom's least attractive cousin. And, again, well, it is just a chess puzzle, actually. Um, so, again, you can either auto-solve it or just do it the same as my... Now, down the steps, we're going to head all the way to the right. Basically, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get the Curiosity Killed the Cat achievement for jumping to the secret place. So, it's basically just a whole bunch of puzzles, you know, four or five puzzles, which, you know, uh, for this one, in all fairness, I'm just going to auto-solve this one as well. You know, we're sort of getting to the close to the end of the game now, so we just want to try and mop up everything that we can as quickly as we can. So, that is why I've auto-solved that one. Uh, so we basically get a 10 key added to our inventory. Mmm, delicious. So if we continue heading to the right, there is a Kogai door, which we can do. Again, auto-solve it or not, whichever ones you feel comfortable with. This one should be easy enough, though. There is a numeric numerical door directly behind this. Now, of course, <laughs> screw these numeric doors. Screw them to hell and back. So we are going to auto-solve this one. Ew, you disgust me. So let's order solve that one. There we go. Lovely. Thank you for the way in. Uh, you can do tarot door. You can auto solve it. For some reason, I uh, decide to do it this time.
that is the final one. If we go to the right, we can see a four-sleeved straight jacket. Now, what in the hell is the four-sleeved for? But we will also get the Curiosity Killed Cat full stop achievement for jumping to the secret place full stop achievement. And uh, that's it. You can have a look at the uh, Madman's Muzzle as well. So this is basically just Anthony Hopkins in, uh, in uh, Hannibal Lecter, isn't it? Oh, Hannibal. You came and you ate my skin, bro. How can you put that back, you big douchebag? Right, so that is Curiosity Killed the Cat. Next, what we're going to do is uh, you should now have enough ink in order to get yourself fully upgraded with the Tattooist. So go ahead and slap it out. Canvas. <clears throat> Ma'am. This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 This one. Good choice, my dear. Ah! 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 Now we are mighty more powerful than Thor himself, full of tattoos and wonder and lust and beautifulness. Right, next we're going to go over to the gramophone. We should now have all memoir records, so all we're going to be doing is uh, playing through each one. Remember, we've already played the red one, one and two, so you just need to play three, four, and five, and we will get the connoisseur achievement. I'm... we're... no, I'm still not... I think I know where to find it. I just need to wait for him to go. Next, yuppie, we are going to head to the left. Uh, past Harry, he's all good. Um, we are going to go down this time, and we're basically now just going to upgrade the rest of our weapons because we should have all items required and necessary. So speak to the angry French moustache uh, weaponsmith again and unlock all the things. I know it's hard to believe. You found the consciousness. What about this? Also your work? No. Good. Let's get to work. Good. Let's get to work. Good. Let's get to work. Annoyingly, though, we don't get an achievement for that. So we go into the safe haven entrance, which is just down and to the left. So the never eat shredded wheat. So the southwest. Yeah, that's that's how I always do it. People can just go, yeah, if you just head west, if you just head east, if you just head south and north, I'm just like, brown. never eat shredded wheat. Right, now I know. Right, so secure some ink if you so wish. Uh, but what we're actually going to do, we're coming here to get the can't reach me achievement. Now, this one is kind of tricky to explain sort of as we head to the right not into the ink but what we need to do is you see the uh basically we need an enemy with a ceiling above us and you see the sort of blue dot that is above us right now what you're supposed to do is hold the b button wait for an enemy to attack you and then let go of the b button and that will uh catch the enemy in the trap but it kind of it's a bit weird because i don't I don't particularly know how I've done it, but that is what you're supposed to do. So just hold the B button here, and then as soon as an enemy lunges at you, uh, release B, and it'll get caught up in the trap there, which will get you the can't reach me achievement. 
Um, again, yeah, tricky one. I, I think I, I sort of got that one by accident here, but, you know, so good, so good. So what we're going to do now is just head down into this next teleporter machine because now we have got... Um, Basically, we've mopped up everything that we have now. We've got one more anchor left to collect, and that is in the section where we can't come back into. So, let's head down to the Mirage. Oh, homie. Oh, Mirage Simpson. I love you. Then what we can do is if we start heading to the right. There it is. It isn't. The game's now going to tell us. We're approaching the point of no return, so tie up loose ends or finish the case. Of course, we've finished everything up. Uh, if you have a look, you should be on 27. Yes, 27 out of uh, 38 achievements. Uh, 32 achievements, sorry. So, you should be good to go. Uh, this is the final anchor point, which we have just unlocked, by the way. Um, if... Oh, there it is. Look, yeah. Sorry, I was just wondering. Uh, because, once again, it took a sweet-ass time to pop up. Right, so, a little bit more platforming, and then we've got to do another boss level, and it's just another one of those running away uh, monkeys, in all fairness. If you wanted to go back to the foyer, you... In fact, no, you can't, because, as you're going to see, the foyer is going to be looking a little tad different. I had the weirdest encounter in Limbo. I, this, and me... That. I'm tired of listening to what happened to you. Stop whining, my dear. Odd. Harry, could you help me with... Not now, kid. I don't have time for you. Oh, all right. Don't even start. If I had a kid like you, I'd also leave. What the hell? Be aware, Benedict. Something lurks just beyond the veil of perception. So, something weird's going on, everyone's being a total douchebag to us, man. So we need to interact with the radio. Make sure to interact with the radio so that the weird voice goes away. Then we're gonna head upstairs. And then if we go into the right-hand side bedroom once again. It's creepy. Interact here with the piano. Uh, hey, that's... Forget the freak, you're just nature. Yeah? Yes. So when we head back down, we're gonna head to the right. Um, screw you, man! So this is the Mirage boss fight then. Um, what you have to do is just choose this specific path. So from the starting point here, we need to go left three times. So one, two, three. Now, uh, what you can do is go back once. Now it's bathed in darkness, so we're going to get through this as quick as we can here. So we need to go left twice. So that's once, twice, and then back to the right. So go back to the right. And now we need to go left twice again. So that's left twice, once. And eventually twice, and then back to the right. And then left again to go into Marie's office. We need to interact with the glowing item here. There we go. That's job done. And now all we got to do is just head all the way through the glass house to the right to watch the very final cutscene, which remember we cannot skip. Do not skip it, damn it. She was happy once. She was raised by a friend. She married a friend. She couldn't imagine that she would be alone one day.
But then she lost her father. She felt she lost her husband. And in the end, she lost hope. And in the darkness they came and took whatever she had left. The horror of unfulfilled desire can break the strongest spirit. We've been looking for a killer. We've found none. Or we've found two. It may have been involuntary, but it's still manslaughter. They did this to each other. They pushed themselves to the verge and then over it. Maybe now, since they're gone, and the threat has vanished, this pure being will reveal itself. Mr. Fox, good to see you're safe and sound. His Excellency, Inquisitor de Fernandez, is waiting for you in your father's study. Feel free to join him when you've finished your endeavors. That's unfortunate. Should I send us back? She just vanished. Thank you. No prayers, yes. no equipment. I'll manage. I don't understand. She fled in a hurry. Her immense power still lingers. But she chose not to use it. It must have had incomplete information. He Never got alone. away with the golem. He gave them hell beforehand, though. I swear, some of these items are still listed are in the Are you archives. sure you want to use Harry. handcuffs? Harry, you gonna be alright? Yeah, don't worry about me, kid. Focus on yourself. I'll find you after this mess ends. I promise. He has the ritual and the code. I cannot read him, though. He's too tangled, too twisted. It frightens me. I prayed for your safe return, my friend. I really did. For the first time in years, I truly prayed. I take it as a good sign. In a way, your presence awakened hope in me. Not faith, not yet, but we're getting there. I gather you're not as excited as I am. That's a slight understatement. Not as excited as I am, but you do understand, right? You do understand we all do unimaginable things for the benefit of all. Benefit? Yes, don't you see it? If there is heaven, if we show the world, look, here are the gates to the literal heaven, there will be no more confusion, no more doubts, no more blind faith. Isn't your whole order built on blind faith? It is, and I despise it. For so many years, I struggled with guilt. I felt I am the problem, but not anymore. The gates are so close and... Not now. Play along. Wait for the right moment. The 
proof is within hand's reach. And what if you don't find heaven, and it's just another dimension? Then I'll have to search for another lamb to slaughter. I'll take this burden upon myself. I'll search until I find the one! Burden? How are you the victim here? What do you think will happen once I open the gates to heaven through sacrificing someone's life? I am damned. I know that. I'll spend eternity suffering in hell. And I'll do it gladly if it helps more people like me. People like you? The lost. The vulnerable. The faithless. You really think you're doing something good? Don't we all? Fascinating. Indeed. It's like a mirror reflection of us. Now, you'll be the first witness to a miracle. You're going to be the apostle that will carry the gospel to every corner of this and other worlds. It's working. There's only one thing left to do. There has to be another way. Ah, uh, see now, I honestly dislike endings like this. We go through all of that, all of the story, almost get, um, you know, happy days and then you just die. Grande. So, um, with this one, we are coming up now to the final boss battle of the game for defeating Thomas. Now, obviously, we've got one hit kills on, um, but basically his first two waves are just sort of standard attacks. He'll try and fling some stuff at you, which you need to parry, dodge, and just hit a couple of times. And then the third one, you actually have to throw one of his golden spears at him. So um, we'll come up to it. Now, here we go. So we're going to begin. Um, hello, little child. You're safe now with... Uh, look, you're safe now with Tattoo Lady. Hmm. Right, so obviously what we can do, like I said, his first two, whether you're playing it legit or not, his first two attacks are pretty standard. He'll try and hit you. He will try and throw some stuff at you. Uh, but obviously, because we're playing with one hit, what we're going to do is just nip straight up to him and stab him in the abdomen. For it. Ah! Little tiny bit more powerful, but again, he's going to smash you, so give him a smack. Now, this final one may take a uh, while to figure out, but basically what you need to do is you're going to throw some spears at you, which you can parry away. But when you see a golden one, um, get in the path of that, hold the right bumper, and then use the right trigger, and that will hit him, kill him dead. Again, I think you might have to do that three, four, maybe five times if you're not playing on one-hit kills. But that is the end of this game and chapter! Hurrah! <laughs> Be gone to where your place is, fiend. I will be your end. And I will be your... Well, that seems to be a bit of a bit of a stinky end in there, doesn't it? I honestly, I don't like endings like that where it's just like, right, everyone's dead now, the end. I'm like, really? 
Anyway, we get the bigger they are achievement for defeating Thomas. We get the video achievement for finishing the game. But the uh, you can't make me achievement for watching all the cutscenes without skipping them doesn't actually unlock until you have wa uh, finished watching the entire credits. So if it doesn't unlock now, don't panic yourself. You just have to wait for five or six minutes or so until the credits unlock. There is a post cut post game cutscene, and then the achievement will unlock. journey ahead of us. Ooh, so this is obviously going to be a second one purely for the achievements. Remember, we got Veni, VD, and there's going to be one called Vici in what I assume will be the second game. But there we go then, guys and gals. So you should now have 32 out of 32 achievements. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as well. Honestly, you guys are just fantastic. I love you all. And, well, now that that's done, I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big old love nuts.